hello, hello, what's up tonight, everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Fine Thursday to you all. Good to see you, good to see you, good to see ya. What is up? Why are we getting the splash? The splash is broken again. What is up, Ale, May, Dylan Honor, Winzo, MTG Goldfish, Dog, Hazy, how's it going, Dog? Winzo, good to see you, good to see you. DC, Benny Mon, how's it been, Benny? Good to see you. It's been a minute since I see you, uh, since I've seen you. W Van Haas, welcome, welcome, welcome. How is everyone tonight? So I promise, like, Two weeks ago that I would do a cube draft stream and then we did other stuff and against the odd stream and tonight's the night we're cube drafting and even more than just cube drafting I promised I would force storm so in our first cube draft we're storming I don't even care if we don't open a single storm card we're still forcing storm I don't know how that'll work <laughs> in practice but we're vintage cubing we're drafting we're having fun we're forcing storm hopefully everyone is having a spectacular night good to see you. how am I and CC and bear I'm doing good I'm a little bit dreading having to take them to the vets tomorrow they gotta get they gotta get a shot uh, they oh, it's a complicated situation so CC needs a shot bear needs a shot I need to take him to the vets bears brother also needs to get a shot so I was like I'll bring him too but then I'm afraid that bear's brother is gonna eat CC so that kind of complicates things plus I know the vet's gonna yell at me for bear <clears throat> they always yell at me for bear I try to explain he's just a big puppy it's it's just he's big boned he's he's not fat he's just big boned but the vets ah, the vets won't hear it the vets won't hear it <laughs> they're gonna hurt his confidence I'm telling him you gotta he's got that fragile he's in that fragile state he's only uh, not even two years old yet you gotta because bears really, he's not really fat he's just huge like it's it's just it's just wild how big he is you I gotta get you I will get a picture tomorrow for the next stream uh of him with his brother they're born at the same time and he's just like I don't know like uh, half a body taller and half a body wider he's just like a really he's just a really really big dog uh hey happy birthday Mel how are you Mel the guitarist Ooh, what kind of uh, guitar do you play happy birthday happy birthday hey what's up Jable I'm doing wonderfully how are you tonight so tonight's plan we got a few things to do we got some Lord of the Rings stuff to talk about we're drafting some cube our rare limited stream but I promise we do some cube drafting so there I know he eats too many cables that's a problem we're trying to wean him off he's on a cable diet <laughs> don't worry man I have four cats in there no huge fan of the vets I'm sure that'll go over yeah I'm sure I'm sure it'll be fine I'm sure it'll be fine oh well happy birthday to you Mal Ooh, ESP guitars ASPs are nice guitars so reminders 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 uh replay YouTube this week fight all the old streams including this one of the future normal YouTube tons of stuff going on on the YouTube uh tomorrow we got a pretty sweet deck yesterday <laughs> what do you think of the against odds deck yesterday oh my god I love that deck those are my favorite decks I just love locking people out of playing magic and uh, the new Gideon tribal with neification actually did it pretty well so that that was what I really enjoyed a reminder our sponsor today is card kingdom and if you need some magical cards you can get them over at cardkingdom.com slash mtg goldfish even get a free goldfish sticker just let them know you want one in your order notes and they'll hook you up otherwise merch page if you need some tokens t-shirts play mats get away to support the stream and the channel and the site donations always uh, appreciate it never required two dollars more gets your message right on stream so what is the news of the day we got pieces of news so a uh, little little pieces of news little piece of news number one no battles in the Lord of the Rings that which honestly surprised me I, I thought the battles would I uh, felt like such a natural fit from the little bit I know about the little bit I know about uh about um Lord of the Rings does it wouldn't battles be like super that I think a Lord of the Rings from watching the movies I've never read the books is people walking and then battles and then people walking and then battles and that's like 12 hours of that like if there's any set to have battles wouldn't it be the Lord of the Rings so I was kind of surprised that there's no battles in Lord of the Rings so that's so that's a little bit of news number one uh we also got and this is I guess technically a leak so if you're someone who's avoiding leaks it's just the face commanders like the the packaging of the face commanders I assume it's a leak or like unofficially spoiled but we did get the face commander so uh, avert your eyes if you don't want see the face commanders uh of the of the Lord of the Rings set but those did come out uh on the reddit yesterday so uh, we have three of them I believe one is uh, Gr Grudelda Grudelda Elven Queen uh four mana Simic Elf Noble it's a legend it's a four or five his will of counsel to be come in your turn if another elf ETB this turn starting with you each player votes for Dominion or Guidance if Dominion gets the most votes the ring tempts you and then you put a post on post one counter on your ring bearer if Guidance gets the most votes or the vote is tied you draw a card 
So Simic Elves is kind of neat, right? Like that's that's interesting. That's a little bit new. We haven't really seen we haven't really seen Simic be a heavily supported elf color. So that's that's cool. Uh, I'm actually really looking forward to the spoiler season, just because I know I am going to uh, infuriate an entire fandom. <laughs> I, I'm actually I'm actually looking forward to <laughs> to mispronouncing Lord of the Rings cards like like Sirod 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 Lord of the Rings. I assume this is an important character, right? Sirod's like the like the the bolus of Lord of the Rings, maybe. Sirod uh, Lord of the Rings. Uh, eight mana nine nine Grixis legendary. A legendary avatar horror. When you cast this spell, a mass orcs five. I assume it's the same as amassing uh, zombies, but uh, Sauron amasses orcs instead. Mill five cards. Reanimate a creature from your graveyard. It has trample. When a commander in opponent controls dies, the ring tempts you. <laughs> Watch, I, who's got time for that? Who's got time for that? It's like reading the, the deans from Strixhaven. Like, who's got time to, to watch the Lord of the Rings movies? So, Sauron seems pretty sweet. Gerdali seems seems interesting. And then this other one, uh, oh god. This one I can't pronounce. It's in another language. I know I know. I uh, amazed you with my first two pronunciations. I think someone translated it, though. I'm not sure what the, I'm not sure what the last one is. Uh, the last one, uh, Eowyn, 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 Virgin Warrior, five mana, Jess guy, legendary human knight, first strike, beating come on your turn, if a human ETB'd under your control, create two, two, two red human knight creature tokens with trample and haste, then if you control six or more humans, draw a card, I think Eowyn is actually the most powerful of these commanders, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, like I, yeah, so Sarion, Sauron is, uh, is strong, but eight mana, like it's an eight mana commander. It should be strong, but it's really, it's an eight mana nine, nine. It comes along with a five, five and it reanimates a creature and you get the ring temps you stuff. I would say power level wise. I think Eowyn is actually actually a very strong like human knight commander. Like five mana for a five four. Assuming you can have another human come into play, you get two two twos with trample and haste. That's a lot of power and toughness. And then you also can potentially draw cards. So Eowyn, strong human tribal commander or knight tribal commander. Gridelli, eh, I don't know. It's fine. It's Simic Elves. That's kind of cool. And then Suron, I think, is actually really strong. It's just it's a lot of mana. Like it's kind of like Thraxamundar or something. Like it's really good. It's just really it's just really expensive you use new reddit it somehow it no i don't use new reddit but somehow it defaulted to new reddit and i don't know how to get off of new reddit now it like won't let me go back so now i'm stuck with it unfortunately it so what do you think which which of the which of the new face commanders is your fav uh your favorite can we just see green open my forcing storm i know that's how it goes forcing storm is not a good way to vintage cube but it is <laughs> It is a fun way to vintage cube. The other thing we got about Lord of the Rings, we got Mark Rosewater's uh, teaser for this set. And I'm going to lean on y'all for this because I don't know much about Lord of the Rings. So here are things we can expect from the set. Five different card types. Get the legendary super type. What does that even mean? Legendary instant? Legendary... It's got to be stuff like that, right? Like legendary instant, legendary sorcery... Actually, is it just the boring ones? Legendary creature, legendary land, legendary planeswalker, legendary artifact, legendary enchantment. That would be, that would, a lot of sets would have that, right? Like that's no battles. They actually confirmed no battles in the set, which is absolutely wild. I, I'm blown away. I figured battles, I figured battles were tied to Lord of the Rings. I figured battles was part of the reason why they actually, or that Lord of the Rings was part of the reason why they made battles. But yeah, that was, someone asked Mark Rosewater on his blog and he just straight up said, no, no battles in the set. So I was surprised. Even my tiny bit of knowledge about Lord of the Rings, I figured battles would be like a, an easy inclusion. A decently sized legendary, imagine that. A magic set in 2023 with a decently sized Legendary Matters theme? That reminds me of March of the Machines, and also Dominaria United, and also the Brothers War, and also um, Strixhaven, come to think of it, and maybe Streets of New Capenna and Kamigawa. That's every set. That's every set. That, you can't even put that on your teaser anymore, Mark. Every every single set for the last year, at least, has had a Legendary Matters theme. New, oh my god. New, oh, non-mana. I thought that was, I thought this was a Lord of the Rings name. Nama. Namana, Namana, <laughs> uh, Namana, 
<laughs> a non mana a non mana word cost, but uh, it's non mana word cost. Okay, like we've seen word discard a card, word like whatever, uh, three damage stuff like that. So that that makes sense. A mechanic returns, but now references a different creature type. This has got to be Kithkin, right? What are what is the Lord of the Rings version of Kithkin? It's got to be like the Kithkin mechanic from Lorwyn switched over to Ewoks or whatever. Ewoks? Is that what they call them? Munas! Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your... Yeah, I think it's like the Ewok version of... Yeah. Oh, Halfling. That, that makes more sense. <laughs> Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soup cheer for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A card that makes a s smog token. A s s smog... S I will say that, like, some of the Sword of the Rings stuff, <laughs> it's no, that's not even a real combination of letters. Like, you don't see those letters in combination very often, in my defense. Two, three color, and one four color legendary creature to go along with a five color one already previewed. Okay, that's sweet. I like multicolor cards. A lot of one off creature type manners cards. So, uh, Ewoks, <laughs> again, but probably like a lot of the tribes supported by this will have like a lord or something, which makes sense. Smog is a Drago that comes out of slumber. Ooh, that actually sounds, that sounds kind of sweet. A mechanic returns that I had to fight tooth and nail to get in the set it premiered with. Mark Rosewater's in a lot of sets, so it is it is hard to glean much information from stuff like that because he's just been involved in all of them. A new creature type gets its, huh? A new creature type gets its own equip cost. It's a little weird. Uh, we've seen a couple of like creature equipment mechanics, like the one in Kamigawa. So I guess it's got to be something like that. Some counters in the set. Burden, Death Touch, First Strike, Hope, Counter, Indestructible, Influence, Lifelink, Lore, Stun, Verse, Vigilance, Plus One, Plus One. Here's some rules text. Whenever you attack with Mary and another legendary creature, then create a food token for each creature you control remove an indestructible counter from arwin copy any number target instant sorcery spells that can that sounds kind of spicy whenever you draw a card during an opponent's turn create a one one blue tentacle creature token that sounds more anime than lord of the rings whenever a creature an opponent controls dies put a plus one plus one counter on legos target opponent gains control of tar target opponent gains control of target horse you control target of okay that reminds me, well, do you remember, was it Goatnap? What was a Lorwyn card that specifically cared about goats? I think it was Goatnap. <laughs> why, why are we giving our opponents our horses? <laughs> when this ability resolves for a third time, Glimmy, Gim, Gimli, Gimli, fights up to one target creature you don't control. You may pay zero rather than the equip cross for the first equip you activate during uh, each of your turns. Whenever you put one or more counters on Aragod, put one on uh, of each of those kind of counters and up to one other target creature and then creature types of course avatar demon bird noble halfling knight halfling soldier horse kraken nymph spirit noble spirit demon wraith unfortunately uh no no ewoks um <laughs> card names okay whatever horses of the the bernie lambas lambas that, that is that a song that sounds like a like a, a style of dance one ring to rule them they really went deep on on the ring here, didn't they? One ring to the, rule them all. There and back, second breakfast. I mean, so spoilers start on Tuesday, and this is a good little reminder. On on Tuesday, Tuesday noon is the wizard stream. Uh, so we will stream early on Tuesday, so we can watch the wizard stream together, and then uh, and then I'll do a, a spoiler video. So plan on earlier than normal stream on on Tuesday. So what is? Let's jump into a draft. Let's let's force some storm. Um. What's the hype level for this set? I'm very curious. One to one to ten. Where are you at for Lord of the Rings? Is this uh is this something you're excited for? <clears throat> I actually think, even though I am not a, a huge Lord of the Rings fan, I think this set's gonna be huge. Like I honestly I think this set's gonna be really good for the game of magic. <laughs> I personally I don't care about Lord of the Rings. Whatever. Like I like new magic cards, but I think this set is gonna be I think this set's gonna actually be really big. I've already seen just like people saying stuff on the internet like, oh, I haven't played Magic in 10 years, but I saw this ad for Lord of the Rings, and now I wanna now I wanna try Magic again. I think this is gonna be something. There's like non-Magic YouTubes making videos about the about the set because it's Lord of the Rings. 
I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be really big. Uh, so I'm excited for it from that level. I'm excited about having new players come in and being able to mispronounce <laughs> the names of their beloved characters. But I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm very excited about that. The cards itself, I'm a little bit like, I don't know. I don't know what to expect power level wise. Personally, I'm expecting having read all of this. I'm expecting this to be a commander set, like usual, with a few modern cards to throw in. Like, I don't think this is Modern Horizons. I think Wizards has almost been, like, upfront about that, that it's not supposed to be Modern Horizons. I'm expecting it to be a commander set that's hopefully pretty flavorful, and maybe get a few cards for Modern thrown in. We are forcing Storm, not even again, for the first time. We're jumping into the draft right now. I kind of feel like it should be standard legal. I have changed my opinion on that because of the the longer rotation thing. A, a year ago, I was like, I do not want universes beyond and standard. No, 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 no. And now I'm kind of like, I really wish they would just make this that standard legal. <laughs> I want I want something new. I want it shaken up. It is not legal and standard, but it is legal and modern. Historic, uh, alchemy, if you're one of the, the dozens of alchemy players in existence. Commander, of course, legacy, all that stuff. Did I read the cube changes? They're really, really sweet. I did not. I'm going to this in the blind. I, I'm looking for storm cards. What are we looking what are we looking for for storm cards? Um Rich anything that says storm, obviously. But those are gonna be key. The the nightmare is we force storm and don't get a card that has a storm mechanic. So like tendrils, uh, brain freeze, grape shot. So we want an actual storm card. Wheels are good. Any fast mana is good. Tutors are good. Uh, any oh, okay. Well, we d we did get a good a good option here for. Can I make these cards bigger? Some I thought there was a way to make these bigger. Isn't there a way to resize this? I'm so confused. Oh, there we go. Card size. Okay, so <clears throat> pack one, pick one, forcing storm for our first draft. I mean, so we get a, we we don't have any of the things we just talked about. There's no ritual. There's no power nine. There's nothing that says storm. However, Yagwill is is very very good in a storm deck. Like it's it's essentially a cheaper better past in flames. Past in flames is one of the key cards in modern storms. Uh, in Modern Storm, I think we just snap off Yagwill. Like, remember, goal of this draft is to force Storm. I think that I think that we just take the Storm card. There could be an argument for like, oh, let's take Jace and maybe Yagwill a wheel. Let's take a Signet and maybe Yagwill a wheel. But I think the safe choice is just to is just to take the Yagwill and go from there. Yeah, I mean, I think I think we gotta we gotta take the Yagwill. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh, interesting. Pack two. Still no cards that say the word storm. Hey, what's up, uh, Yohan Leaf? How are you? Good to see you. Still nothing that says storm, but <laughs> Dream Halls is kind of interesting. We might be able to build like a really spicy storm deck with Dream Halls. Grim Monolith is actually plus mana. Like, it's a free spell. It is up your storm count and and a mana, which is very good. Dream holes, I am willing to wait on the on the wheel, perhaps. Uh, it is usually not things people pick. The signets would also be fine. The mana fixing is not really what we're looking for. We could play balance just to have some defense, but I think we just... I think we take Grim Monolith, especially in a storm deck. Like, being one-shot mana is kind of fine. And then hopefully we get hopefully we get the dream halls on the wheel. I don't think the dream halls is something most people are going to be oh after. Oh boy. Okay. Well, um, we have a modern storm all star in brawl chief of compliance. <laughs> also, the card that literally killed one v one commander. Paradoxical outcome is is super fun. Vintage like pseudo storm piece. Uh, so this is a way that we can like pick up our grip monolith, untap it, replay it. Getting it early, I think, <clears throat> getting it early, I think we can build around it a little bit. Also, Imperial Seal's fine. Like, any cheap tutors are going to be good in a storm deck. This is one of the worst of the cheap tutors, but I think Paradoxical Outcome I would like more than Brawl. I feel like Brawl is worse in Vintage Cube Storm than it is in Modern Storm, because hopefully we're going to be making a lot of mana with artifacts rather than rather than uh, instants and sorceries. Brawl's still fine, but let's take Paradoxical Outcome. Hmm. Interesting. 
<laughs> okay, 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 okay. Still nothing with the word storm. I'm getting a little nervous. We're, we're three picks in. No words with storm. Uh, so, Gitaxian Probe is always good. It's just literally free. Spire Bluff Canal is in the colors. Usually, like, Grixis is typical storm colors or base storm colors. Bliss's Citadel is really powerful. Everflowing Tales would be fine. Worst case, we can always just cast it as a free spell, just up the storm count. Oh, I, I think it's Citadel or Probe. Knight's Whisper is also okay. Citadel? Are we taking... All right, we'll take... We'll take the Citadel. I'm not sure if that's a right pick or, or not, but it is... It, oh, wow, that is a channel. That is a channel. Wait, did they take the storm cards out of this cube? Are there are there actual storm cards in this cube? Maybe I should have checked that before jumping into this draft and titling the stream. <laughs> uh, on second thought, did they actually leave in any of the storm cards? <laughs> Citadel, I mean, it generates a lot of card advantage. Things that just generate a lot of card advantage are good in uh, in storm. <sighs> I don't know if we want to be a Thoracle deck. It's not really a it's not really a storm card. Badlands is good. Uh, Vernon Catacombs is good. Vernon Ca Channel. <sighs> I don't know if Channel is actually worth it. Really. Hmm. Let's take the let's take the Catacombs. Make our mana work. Wait, am I in a draft with LSV? No. Okay. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> LSV can take LSV can take all the storm cards he wants. We're good. We're good. Not in the same draft, thankfully. Um, we're still not seeing storm cards though. This pack has like not much. But this is we are not off to a great start here, honestly. Yeah, Bob with Bolus to Citadel isn't exactly a combo, but <laughs> it actually might be the best. You might be right. That might be the. Oh, you can't see all the cards, all right. That might actually be the that might actually be the best pick. Could take the land. The land is I don't know what white offers a storm deck though. Uh, Alright, we'll draw some cards and maybe die to our own cards. <laughs> oh I like Jessica's will. Jessica's will can be a sweet storm card. Actually, is it a sweet is there a way we can have a commander? Is it possible to have a commander? <laughs> yeah, just taking the fetch is a safe pick to fix our mana. Jessica's will could be good. I could see an argument for Jessica's will. The Yeah, if you can wheel someone's handful and then Jessica's will is pretty strong. Maybe Jessica's will is better than than windswept teeth. It is good. You know what? Let's try it. Let's try it. We'll give it a go. Oh, okay. Backup plan. I have the biggest soft spot for upheaval. Upheaval is not exactly a storm card, but there's, uh, there's nothing in this pack for us. There's nothing. Can I please, can I please take, can I please take upheaval? That's our, that's our backup plan. If everything goes, else goes wrong, we can upheaval. I don't think Elish Norn... Elish Storm doesn't really do anything with Storm in specific. Eidolon beats Storm. Tezzerat, yeah, whatever. Yeah, let's let's take upheaval. We can probably we can find a way to justify it as a storm card. Hmm. I kind of think we take the speculative candelabra. So by itself, candelabra does literally nothing. But if we start getting some mana doublers, then candelabra can be a good storm card. Candelabra also does work with upheaval, which is nice. Yeah, this is all the stuff that we pass. Like, someone is going to have, like, <laughs> thankfully most people don't do this because it's boring. But if someone wants to 5-0 this, or 3-0 this draft, we just saw the Eidolon. There's a Sulfuric Vortex. There is, like, a ridiculous amount of red deck that would probably just crush everyone if someone's taking those cards. So, does Mono Draft work like real-life draft where you play against other draftees, or is it asynchronous like Magic the Gathering Arena? Uh, so, there's both options. It used to be like a, a real draft where you're in a pod. Now, most... We'll take the Dream Halls. Uh, now, most... Now, most drafting is uh, is like arena style. Well, I mean, we're getting all the Storm cards on the wheel. We just haven't seen any actual Storm cards. We'll take the Brawl. We'll take the... Everflowing Chalice? 
Take the chalice. Take the... Jeez. These were like all the cards we were debating taking. They just all wheel. So no one's like competing with us. We just haven't seen any of the storm cards. Well, okay. We're off to an okay start. We got some good stuff. Like Paradox outcome can be good. Yogwill's really good. Citadel can be good. Dream Halls is interesting. Uh, there's, a, there's some interesting stuff going on. Interesting stuff going on. Ooh, Bolas Dream Halls. Hmm. That might be worth considering, actually. Yeah, we could have taken Jace in the first pick, but I think I think Yagwill is was worth it if we're trying to force. Well, that's a that's a Mox. Ooh. Oh, there's a Mind's Desire. That is okay, there are cards with the word storm on them. We see a Mind's Desire. There's also a Dark Ritual. Which is a good storm card. There's an Azoria Signet. Echo the Eons, some wheels at some point would be nice. This is actually a, this pick has, mul uh, this pack has multiple things that we would use. I don't think we can pass the, yeah. So, I, uh, good news, bad news. I mean, I don't think we can pack, pass a Mox. Like, it's perfect for Storm, even if it's off color. It's one of the most powerful cards in all magic. Like, we can't just, we can't pass it. I think we should get something back out of this, right? Like, there's no way. I hope we get Mind's Desire back, but there's a decent chance that we we get at least, like, we'll get, we're going to get one of these cards back. There's no way. Like, people are passing the Storm cards really, really late. So I think there's a good chance that we get something something on the wheel, but we got to we gotta take the Mox. Especially since, remember, we already have we already have the uh, Paradoxical Outcome, and Moxin, Moxin are exactly what we want for Paradoxical Outcome. Ooh. Breach? Probably Breach. Breach is really, we're going to need, now I kind of wish we did have the Dark Ritual. If we could find a Black Lotus, mm, mm, we would be off to the races. We also got to keep in mind, so if we get more dead packs, we are like clearly in three colors now. We are going to have to focus on taking some lands at some point. So we, we definitely got to keep the mana in mind. Kitten is like super broken. I don't know if it's broken in our deck though. Like it's a really sweet card and a really strong card, but I don't know if it's really a good storm card. I mean, yeah, it's, I, I don't even think anything's uh, close to Breach at this point. Maybe there's some argument for Fiery Islet, but we'll, we'll take the Breach. Okay, this pack. Hmm. The Pack of Nothingness. Oh, this pack's like total, no there's not even a land. <laughs> I mean, so, okay, so what about Riftwing? What about Riftwing Cloudscape? There's been some, there's been storm decks that have successfully stormed off with suspend cards. You get the timing right where you suspend it, and then the turn it comes off of suspend, you take in, uh, you take in storm off. Having a removal spell is good, and dismember is a one mana removal spell when we want it to be. Oko is definitely strong, although ah boy. I'm worried about our mana supporting three colors because we just haven't been drafting lands. I don't know if we can add a, a fourth color to the mix unless we're really going to go hard after lands. I mean, we're Force and Storm. We're Force and Storm. We said that. Ooh, Palancron. Ooh. I mean, Paddling Crod Mana Doubler goes infinite. There are ways to infinitely storm with this if we find a Mana Doubler. Ether Flux Reservoir is kind of like super hard mode. <laughs> super hard mode storm. I feel like this is going to come back around. Actually, Paddling Crod probably comes back around too. The Fetch would be helpful. The Days would be good. Sensei's Divining Top would even be fine. Reanimates probably the strongest card in the pack but i don't know if it's for us <sighs> which one is more likely to come back around is the question palancron or reservoir <sighs> all right well we'll take the we'll take the reservoir i think it's hopefully palancron that's most likely to come back around hopefully yeah i mean the land is probably the the correctest pick there what about Chain of Vapor? Actually, Chain of Vapor doesn't do anything in specific. Seething Song. That is a ritual. It does work with Underworld Breach. I guess I guess we probably got to take it. 
The problem is, uh, so I guess our storm card is Reservoir right now. Baleful Strikes just as a redraw would be fine. Is Shieldred a storm card? <laughs> Does Shieldred start as a, count as a storm card? <laughs> Seething Song's probably more likely to wield than Shieldred. I mean, we're storm. We're we're forcing storm though, not not forcing Shieldred as well. Okay. Oh no! Oh, magic gods! Why do you tempt us? I was just about to say. Okay, we're finally just gonna take a land. We're finally just gonna take a land. We need this, it's the, the best fetch land for our deck. <sighs> but there's also the Wheel of Fortune. And there's also, yeah, and our set's also a nice backup plan in a storm deck, because hopefully we will have wheels. I honestly think we have to take the land here. I I feel bad about it, I feel dirty about it, <laughs> but I there's we have to we have to take we have to take the land we just have to i know it's not the most exciting pick i know it's not the most exciting pick but we got to be able to cast our ooh oh god oh there's the mana doubler that is in two colors we're not currently we're not currently playing but it is like I mean, the Palancron comes back around, we go infinite. We already got the Candelabra that works incredibly well with it. I mean, we're trying to force Storm, so yeah, that's that's probably why our power level's low. Mirari, wait, I think we gotta take Wake. We gotta, we gotta take it. We gotta take it. Uh, this is not, oh, I'm past, past in Flames, okay. Jeez. I don't know if this is like, Oh, there's some, oh, the Mind's Desire Returns. I mean, no one is drafting the Storm cards. Where are all of our, where are all of our payoffs? The mana base is trash. I will very much agree. Hopefully it improves. Mind's Desire? The Cardboard Samurai. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big subscription for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mind's Desire or Echo? Echo's better. Is it? Yeah, uh, Mind's Desire is more fun though. Okay, there's there's a land. We have, not even looking at the rest of it. We need to we need to start taking lands. Well, the boy, no one's drafting. <laughs> our lane is open. Our lane is open. Whether or not we can actually make our mana work is a, the. Oh no, there's a Palin Crown. Okay, well we have an infinite combo. I don't know if we can cast the infinite combo, but we do officially have an infinite combo. Uh, Blood Chief's Thirst for the sideboard. Here's Downfall for the sideboard. All right, Black Lotus. Black Lotus. Mind's Desire literally says Storm. It straight up says Storm on it. <laughs> how can we How can we pass it up? Okay, so heading into pack three, we have all the ways to recast our graveyard. Literally, maybe too many of them. Yagwell, Pass in Flames, and The Breach. For finishers, we mostly so we have Aetherflux Reservoir. We have Palincron Mirari's Wake. Mind's Desire and Upheaval. Hmm. Ooh, this might be a Tinker, actually. Tinker Citadel. Tinker Citadel's a thing. Treachery is also a free spell because it untaps lands. It generates mana if we have the Mirari's Wake. But I think it's, I mean, we already have the Citadel that we can tinker into play. Atroxa Dream Halls is kind of spicy. That actually is super spicy. Tinker's busted though, right? I was hoping for like, uh, we don't have much fast mana. That is, that is going to be our biggest issue here is like, uh, we just, we don't have fast mana. No fast mana down here, but I think Tinker is probably our best bet. Tinker for Citadel, uh, Bulls to Citadel seems, seems like a plan. Wow. Well, that's a second Mox. What did someone take out of this pack? They must have had, like, double power pack or a Soul Ring or something. I mean, Urza's good. Frantic Search is good. I guess we don't really have much card draw either. I mean, Frantic Search is really good. Urza's really good. But, I mean, we, we cannot pass up the Mox, right? It's just easy, easy, easy pick. Frantic search might wheel. 
Or, like, I would be happy to get a fetch land back at this point. Although we kind of need... We would like a dual land that we can fetch. Like, perhaps a... A Vulcan... Ooh, can we make... Can we make Academy work? How many artifacts do we have? I don't even know if we're playing Baleful Strix. We're not going to be playing all this stuff. Fast Bond. Fast Bond is really good. We don't really have any combos with it. Volcanic Island, we can get off the polluted delt. I, Volcanic Island is probably the the safe, uh, the correct pick here, honestly. It's probably Volcanic Island. Turnabout will definitely wheel. Fast, I actually think both of these will wheel. I think it's very likely both of them wheel. Yeah, we. I think we just have to take... There's. We got to be able to cast our spells. Like, our plan is not going to work if we can't cast our spells. And right now, I have a very big fear that we're not going to be able to cast our... Ooh. Oh, the scary mana doubler, mana flare. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, mana doubler, palancron is a thing. Like, that is a way that we can go infinite, make infinite mana win the game. Burgie's also good. Foff is also good. I guess mana flare is also pretty likely to wheel. So maybe we can let it go. The only problem with mana flare is that... Uh, it does affect our opponent, so if we just tap on it on turn three, tap out for it on turn three, it's pretty sketch. I I think it's gonna wheel. I can see an argument for factor fiction actually. Factor fiction, so we actually have some card draw and it goes along with all of our graveyard stuff. I actually think we take factor fiction. I think we take fact. Ooh, oppos boy, this has a lot of my favorite cards. I love opposition is like top three of my favorite cube cards. I love building. I think I honestly think Factor Fiction is the best pick there, just because we already have Passing Flames, we already have Underworld Breach, we already have Yag Will, and we don't have much card draw. Yeah, I think we probably take Curl Mox here. Regrowth is good. Brainstorm would be fine. Opposition, I love it, but it's not going to work in this deck. Brainstorm would be okay. We have two fetch lands. I mean, and we have just, and it's just a cheap cantrip, but I think Chrome Mox is probably more important. Ancient Tomb, eh? Well, we don't want to play against Lodestone Golem. <laughs> That's for sure. Ancient Tomb doesn't improve our mana, but... It does make mana ish sort of boy i wish we had more mana fixing i really wish we had more mana fixing leovald i mean leovald is really strong although that's another green card i'm not even sure we're gonna end up playing marari's wake it's possible if we get the mana flare back that we don't even play the the wake and maybe we just try not to play green at all that would be one way we could improve our mana you know what Let, i think we take ancient tomb uh, ancient tomb is Hard to go wrong. Ooh. Okay. Xander's Lounge actually is... We can get that with both of our fetch lands. Oh, Thieving Skydiver is really good. Talisman would actually be fine. Dig Through Time would be okay. I think we have to take Xander's Lounge. Like, I think... As much as it pains me, like, I think... Yeah, Wishclaw, Thieving Skydiver, and Digger all, all sweet, but... I think we got to do the responsible ish thing. We've went too long being irresponsible and not drafting any removal. I think we got to try to be responsible now. Wait, timeless lotus. Can we untap that? Candelabra only untaps lands, right? Yeah. Hmm. Danny Floss, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big subscription for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Buy is pretty good. That gets us our green source, and we can get it with both fetch lands. I think it's actually better than watery grave here. I I think I think Bayou's correct if we're gonna try to Marari's wig. Yeah, let's take Bayou. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, a tr no one took a Troxa. Sweet, Mo what is going on? What are other people doing? <laughs> How in the world did a Troxa go all the way around the table? Zorn Orb does work with Bullis' Citadel. Black Cleave Cliffs is good. Atroxa goes with Dream Halls, although I think we actually have to just take another land. Yeah, let's take the land. 
Wow. We got our choice of Frantic Search or Urza. Ooh, what do we take here? Urza or Frantic Search? Both of those are really good. Yeah, I am shocked no one's building an Atraxa deck. Urza, search, Urza, search, search. Urza! We are more artifacts. Search, search. Yeah, this is a really tough pick. Search is... Uh, I think we had a... I think... Okay. I'm going to go with search just purely because... Because of the graveyard stuff. We have all those graveyard payoffs. Well... Wait, was this a Mana Flare pack? No. Mana Flare pack's the next pack, right? Well, we'll take the turnabout. Actually, why is no one taking Academy? Can we take Academy? I don't think we can take Academy. I think we have to go with turnabout. There's the Mana Flare. Wow, they both came back. No one is drafting this deck. I think Mana Flare is better than Burgi because of Palancron. Wow. Ob what what kind of decks are people drafting? <laughs> no one's taking Atroxas. No one's taking Oppositions. I don't take the Brains. No one's taking Leovolds. Do people not know what broken cards are? Brains last pick. I, I'm ashamed to be in this pod. I'm ashamed to be in this pod. <laughs> Everyone's building Mono Red and Mono White, apparently. <laughs> oh, now for the hard part. Making this pile maybe work. All right, so let's move the lands over here for now. How, oh boy. We'll write it at the end. I'm curious. I don't know how good of a, not the nut storm deck by any stretch. We did end up with two real moxes and a fake mox. Hey, what's up, Andy Floss? How are you? Gotta cut the wake. <sighs> I mean, I guess because we have mana flare, we can cut it. Also because we can't cast it. <laughs> I guess that's another. Although both of our mocks in. We just got to draw both mocks in. Maybe we can cast it. It might not be that uncastable. <laughs> yeah, I mean, pal so how does this deck win? What is our actual game plan for win? So, uh, plans are Palancron Mana Doubler for infinite mana, and that should win the game. Tinkering out bolus's citadel and then storming off uh potentially making a bunch of mana and upheavaling we'll see if upheaval stays in the deck mine's desires are one actual storm card as far as stuff that supports storm yeah we might end up we might end up keeping wake we'll see we do have to cut some stuff okay so there's our finishing plans what do you think about dream halls oh yeah reservoir where's where's reservoir Wait, we did draft a reservoir. What am am I overlooking it? Hmm. Why can I not see? I'm so confused. Oh well, old border. Okay, I was looking for I was looking for a shiny silver card. I wasn't thinking old border. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. I am straight up blind. Um. Okay, that's also one of our finishers. So, to support this, oh god. So we probably aren't going to play Bob. I don't think we need to play Bob. And it's pretty risky with the expensive stuff. Factor Fiction's in. Can we make Paradoxical Outcome work? I guess with three mocks in, probably. And then we have the graveyard stuff, which I think sticks. At least most of it. So Yogwill, Past in Flames, Underworld Breach. Turnabout generates mana. Frantic Search. Be, uh, we, I think we got to try to play both mana doublers. Because they work so well with all this untapped stuff. Even on top of the Palancron Infinite combo. Great with Frantic Search. Great with Turnabout. Great with uh, Candelabra. I think that's our main plan for, for producing mana, honestly. Is like, mana double untap our lands. Dream Hall's honestly probably going to go. I don't think Dream Hall's... Uh, let's put that in the probably not pile. Um, I guess Brawl's okay. Oracle, I don't think does anything. Mind's Desire is going to stay because it's fun. I don't mind having a removal spell. Seething Song. Maybe, maybe that's the deck. Wake needs, I think Wake is too important. I don't think we can cut it. <laughs> play the Nicole Bolas. If we're gonna play Nicole Bolas, I think we're we're dream holding. 
this might actually just be this might be the plan take out past in flames are we too overloaded on graveyard stuff i mean so this would be 16 lands we have two real mocks in a fake mocks in xander's lounge volcano our mana actually didn't end up that bad not as good as i would like it to be but it's actually we have two fetches three fetchable duels two on color fetch lands and an ancient doom that's actually not that bad put chalice back in because of uh outcome hmm i think we have to cut something if we do that do you think that chalice is worth it do we want chalice i think the rest of this stuff like additional removal can stay in the sideboard leovald we can't cast very easily all right let's people want chalice so put in chalice really cut past in flames do we really not need past in flames what about cloudsgate the, can we cut cloudsgate yeah i do wonder if we're overloaded and if this is too much like these these cards are all kind of doing the same thing i don't think we can cut wake i think wake is it's gonna be hard to cast but i think it's like our most obvious way to win the game so just cut the pass in flames we think is that is that where we're at cut the pass in flames I think it's Past in Flames or Cloudsgate. Those would be the two I would say would be weakest. Seething Song doesn't help too much. Yeah, that's that's kind of true. <laughs> that is actually kind of true. Although, like, eh, I think it's okay. It does work well with it works well with Underworld Breach, right? we still don't have that much green man actually maybe we can fetch it up and we got the mox okay what about wow what about this how about that no passing fames no cloud skate but leovold in and see if we can we do have two fetches that can get the green source maybe something like this with some basics <laughs> i think i honestly think palancron is our most likely way to win the game I don't think we can cut that one. All right, let's add some basics, which I think is going to be... So, I guess just no white, right? How do we actually cast the mox? We really just have to draw mox? Chrome mox? Hmm. Yeah, wake is going to be a problem, isn't it? <laughs> you're not wrong if you're someone that's yelling cut wake, but... ah. Uh... I think we need it though. Will we ever be able to cast it? All right, maybe one planes. Maybe maybe that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven black. One, two, three, four, five red. Two white one two three four green <laughs> cut wake for veraska i mean i guess it's we're gonna we're gonna try it we're gonna try it here we go forcing storm all right cat uh all right chat what do you think how how would you rate our storm deck how many wins do we get i will say i don't think i mean so storm is kind of a meme archetype anyway i would say this is like a Oh, and three. Yeah, I was going to say maybe five out of ten, but maybe that's even being generous. Need another land. Oh, we do have multiple mocks in. One, two, three. Yeah, I guess Chalice probably shouldn't be counted. Maybe we do need one more land. Oh, no. Does Bar is Baral even worth it? What about Baleful Sticks? That works with Tinker. Frantic Search Mana Flare. Yeah, we didn't get a... 
Are we cutting upheaval? As much as it pains me. Yeah, we're uh, we're cube drafting. <laughs> I don't think I don't think we can cut wake. I don't think we can cut wake. I think wake is our literally our most important card along with mana flare. Like, I honestly think that's the only way we're gonna storm off is with a mana doubler. Like, I don't think we can. Maybe we just don't we evolve and add one more land. We didn't get a wheel anyway. We didn't get a wheel anyway, so it's not like Leovold's doing anything in specific. And I think 16 lands counting the two Moxen is probably better than... I think 15's too greedy. I really, I really think that's our... I don't know how I don't know how we win unless it's Mana Doubler, Pill, and Kron. Like, I guess Tinker, Tinker Citadel maybe gets there, but I really... What other pathways to victory do we have? Yeah, Brawl's pretty medium. It does ramp into it does ramp into Foff. It's fine with Paradox. I mean it's it's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. <laughs> Casting it is gonna be a concern. I will I will give you that. I will give you that. <laughs> Why not hit a planes? because uh, we don't want to draw a lot of planes because we only have half of a white card in our deck. I really wish we had I really wish we had another a dual land. I'm sure there was a like a a white like a hollowed fountain or something that we passed. Like that would uh that would have solved almost all all of our problems. Can we get a poll number of times? Give me your vote. Give me your vote. How many I don't think it's that impossible, is it? Is it really that impossible? I mean if you look at if you look at Wake. Here's why here's why I think it's worth it, even though it's gonna be very difficult to cast. It combos with Candelabra of Tano's. It combos with um Palincron, like most directly, just straight up infinite mana with Palincron. I uh there's another one too. Frantic search is in there. Like it there's so oh, chat. And you were worried about us casting our wake. Two white two white sources. Two white sources in our opening hand. Two white sources. <laughs> no problem. We're we're good. We're good. If anything, we, we have too much white mana. We're too much white mana. <laughs> we should have not... Oh, I knew someone was going to draft mono red and absolutely wreck me. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Opponent. Doesn't even attack... They didn't... Do they just Goblin Guide no attack? Hmm. All right. Well, you know what we do? How, what could they What could they possibly do with that? They're mono red. What could they possibly do with, uh, with extra mana? I'm sure nothing. <laughs> Boom. There you go. Enjoy it, mono red. Go off. Go off upon it. <laughs> Are we dead? I mean, this does let us slam Bolas' Citadel. It's super good against Mono Red. Oh, is it? Oh, they could have counters. That's depressing. Oh, they're not Mono Red. That's probably worse for us. Now we're going to get our Citadel countered. Opponent. This time they get in with the Goblin Guide. Top card is a Xander's Lounge. Okay. Okay, sure. Opponent, four mana. See, that's the problem with mana flare. Our opponent gets to use it first. And oh, they're they're playing twin. I see. I see. I see. Wow, opponent is very close to twinning. That's scary. We draw mountain. Ah, well, Citadel. See what happens. I guess. I mean, I don't know what else we're doing. We're probably dying next turn anyway. Citadel. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, we don't have enough lands. We don't have enough lands. We comboed too quickly. 
Untap, untap, untap. Okay. Okay. I guess we have to Jessica's will draw. Is probably our best bet. Jessica's will draw. Uh, play Baleful Strix. Seething Song in response. Down to six. Make some mana. Yag will on. Wait, is there? Is there a way we can do this? We really need a finisher. We got to try to win this. We're definitely going to die. Wait, how are we playing real loose? We're dying next turn anyway. We got to go for it. The question is, do we brainstorm? When do we brainstorm? We're going to be a little pinched on colored mana. Oh, I don't think we need to cycle the lounge. We already got a Baleful Strix. Let's let's wait. We'll draw the Yogwill. See what's on top. Could use a Mox on top. Everflowing Chalice. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we got to go stream. <laughs> yeah, you're missing the action. Stream mode. Er I mean, this is kind of working-ish. Storm counts five. Storm counts five. Stream mode achieved. Um... Play this for zero? Yeah, no, no kick. Is there any reason to kick it? It turns red mana into colorless mana. Okay, no. Oh god. That's a that's a mind. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. How do we get the how do we get the blue mana to cast it though is the issue. If we cast it, we die, though. It's six, it's six mana. Cycle Lounge into the Mind's Desire. That could work. We can also Brainstorm. How do we... Do we just... Maybe we just got to fire off the, the Mind's Desire and see what happens. The problem is if we if we brainstorm, we only have two blue mana. We need we need the we need both blue. I mean we can Yag Will, but then we're just Jessica's Will seething song and making even more red mana. I guess we could just make a ridiculous amount of red mana. Is it worth upping the storm count more is a question. <laughs> that's i mean we're gonna so we're gonna mind's desire five six seven eight nine the question is is it worth yag willing first yag will seething song jessica's will is it worth doing that before we mind's desire yeah, we got to draw the Mind's Desire. We got to draw the Mind's Desire. That's the only question. So we can spend three. So if we do it like this, tap, 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 tap. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yag will. Seething Song. Jessica's will. Make a ridiculous amount of mana. Pretty much all red mana. Use our blue mana to Mind's Desire and just go from there. Cycle first to get the info. The problem is if we cycle first... Then we don't get to we don't get to Yogwill. If we're gonna Yogwill, we gotta do it now because we need the mana from the cards in our graveyard. I think we do it. Alright, so Yog Will. Seething Song. Make mana. Jessica's will. Make mana I mean our storm counts up to nine cycles Anders lounge to draw the mind's desire oh! 
Okay, reservoir off the top, down to two. Mine's desire. Wow, I think we might do this. Oh my goodness. Wow! <laughs> turn three, turn three, turn three. And that's how you force storm, apparently. All right, mine's desire number one. Hits a tinker. Up to, th I mean, is this, this is gonna be enough, right? This is gonna be enough? So gotta be enough. So gotta be enough. Look at all these cards getting exiled for us to cast. Okay. Exile, 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 exile. All right. So, uh, Candelabra. I mean, I think we, do we just straight up win here? Candelabra, uh, Brawl costs mana, Brainstorm costs mana, Frantic Search. Discard, discard, untap our link. We're going to win this game on turn three. We're going to win this game on turn three, and we were so skeptical. Chrome Box, up to 52. No exiling. Dismember up to 67, and then Ether Flex your face. Whoa! <laughs> wow. Well, <clears throat> that was, uh, that was pretty good. That was pretty. We got, I think we got ridiculously lucky, but still, like, that was turn three. That was turn three. That was turn three. We found a way. We found a way. Oh, it is sweet when it comes together. Wow. I can't believe we ran out that mana flare and it worked. You know, oh my goodness. You know what? You know what I just realized? If our opponent attacked with that goblin kind on turn one, we wouldn't have been able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> if they attack, we we went down to two to cast the Ether Flux Reservoir on the top of our deck. If they hit us with the Goblin Guide, we wouldn't have been able to cast the Ether Flux Reservoir, <laughs> and we would have lost. Oh, I'm so glad they didn't do that. You know your theory that most people are idiots. Uh, I've long been a subscriber to that theory, my man. My coworkers are really good at proving the theory to be correct. Coworkers have a way. They have a way to uh, to prove theories like that correct. I think. How's the job going, uh, Magic Arp? We might have, maybe we would have still got there. It's possible. So our opponent's playing Kiki combo. Maybe we just bring in Hero's Downfall. Hero's Downfall seems uh, seems worth it. Since our opponent's trying to creature combo. And you know what we're going to cut? <laughs> and, no, I'm, I'm kidding. We're not cutting Mirari's Wake. That's our best card. <laughs> no chance. No chance. <laughs> I don't think Thirst is actually that that important because it's sorcery speed. So I don't think it's going to break up the combo if they have it anyway, most likely. Maybe we just cut the upheaval. That's fine. Well, we'll cut the upheaval for now. Run it like that. I do believe you could have returned to recast Palancron with the rest of your lands just with Yogg sealing Jessica's will. But we couldn't have went infinite, right? Because we only have... Um... Yeah, we'll keep this. We got our got our white mana. Um, we couldn't win infinite though because we didn't have enough lands, right? I think that was the sticking point. We only had three lands, so we wouldn't have enough lands to untap for for uh, to go infinite with Palancron. We just needed more more lands on the battlefield, and the combo would go infinite. But oh dear, okay. Well, that's a card we were kind of afraid of. <laughs> Dark Slick Shores. Well, come on, removals. Come on, removals. Uh, opponent. Island. Yeah. Alalia. Okay, this is looking looking a little worse. Opponent gets and hits us, gets and hits us. 
We might have to brainstorm just to... Oh, boy. We can wait. We can wait, I guess. We're in catacombs. Oh, this is looking grim. Grim, grim, grim. Hmm. Uh, three or less. No mana doubler. The problem is we don't have Mirari's Wake. That's the that's the issue. Well, uh, let's brainstorm while we have our fetch land. Ouch. Okay, okay, there's a Dismember and a Baleful Strix. What are we putting back? What is our actual game plan here? So no mana doubler. I think we put back Palancron. Put back Palancron. Put back Paradoxical Outcome. Actually, maybe we got to get rid of the Citadel. We're just not going to have enough life. Maybe it's Citadel Paradoxical Outcome. Vern Catacombs. Crack Vern Catacombs. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the best bet. Grab the bayou. <clears throat> so we need to kind of deal with both of these. Oh, we just might not have enough time. Um no why did stream I'm must have been my random clicking. There we go. Yeah, Strix blocks if our opponent doesn't have removal. I guess we'll do that. That's probably our, our best bet here. We're not going to play the Mox yet. Strix, draw, turnabout. Oh, if we could find a mana doubler. Well, pass the turn. Opponent. They probably don't have too much... Re okay, maybe they do still have removal. I was going to say they probably don't have much removal since they just saw us be a storm deck, but I guess Chain Lightning goes phase. Not... Nah looking great oh we're super dead emberus shield so they are like mono they're like mono red splashing blue for a kiki combo so like mono they're mono red with with uh with kiki thrown in it looks like so we're just dead right there's the there's the wake too boy if we if we had another turn we would win if we had one more turn, Mirari's Wake, double mana, infinite Valencron, but we do we do not have one more turn. Uh, so we're just literally dead, right? We kill this, we die. We kill this, we can't kill that. Next turn, we die. Turn about to stall them. Yeah, I guess that is... That does keep us alive, right? It's not not good, but Deceiver Exarch. Uh huh. You don't need six lands to go infinite with Wake. Yeah, but we need to be alive. <laughs> We need to be alive to go infinite with Wake. That's the the sticking point. We actually we need quite a few, right? Because we need seven to cast Palancron. <laughs> All right, well, Pwn's gonna win in every pos. Is there a way we? Is there a way we can do this with? Is there a way Turnabout saves us? Yeah, it doesn't anyway. All right. Yep, yep, yep. Hmm. So opponents, ah, pretty aggro. Pretty aggro. I can't believe people still want to cut Wake. Why would you want to cut Wake after after game one? Game one showed, I mean, that game, the problem is our opponent had literally, if you want to see someone fight a storm deck in a format like Modern or Legacy, Eidolon is like the best card. <laughs> our opponent just had like the perfect best possible hate piece against our deck. So that's, yeah, I mean, that's, that is vintage cube for you. Sometimes they have the, sometimes they have the right answer.
Wake didn't show up in game one, but Mana Flare did. And Wake does Wake does the same thing. I don't know if Cloudscape matters. We will bring in the Blood Chief Slayers. Now that we saw an Eidolon, like that's that is must kill. Like we cannot let the Eidolon live or we just die. So I think it's it's worth bringing in just to do that. Maybe honestly, maybe it's Paradoxical Outcome that we cut. I'm starting to wonder if Paradoxical Outcome is really that good in this matchup. Like we have what three, four things. I feel like a lot of times this is gonna be four mana like draw two up our storm count by two i think we're gonna cut it in this matchup i just don't think it's i don't think it's fast enough in a slower matchup i could see it being decent yeah it'd be better if we had more more mana rocks hmm <laughs> I mean, we probably got to keep this. Only one land. We can Seething Song out the Reservoir and just go from there. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it. Hopefully we have some more mana. Hopefully our board doesn't have Eidolon. <laughs> How do we get down the wake? How quickly can we get down the wake? We really just want to draw fetch. That would be nice. Like if we could draw, if we can draw a fetch, can we one, two, three? We could almost get down Marari's wake next turn. Well, Xander's lounge. Go. About it, mountain. Goblin guy? Are we attacking with the goblin guy? Opponent passes. Land? Mana flare. Oh boy. Well, we've seen this. We've seen this before. We have seen this before. Um Mox Pearl. Actually. <laughs> is Mana Flare even worth it <laughs> when we're on two Moxin? <laughs> I actually don't know if it is. It's only netting. It's going to make way more mana for our opponent than we get out of it. Reservoir? Is just running out the reservoir even that good? So we'd, we'd have to dump all of the moxin out of our hand to do it. Yeah, it doesn't get any life this... I mean, if we cast spells, it does. And we'd have to spend the Seething Song to do it. Maybe we just pass. That feels so awkward, but... Imprint the Flare? I would probably imprint the, the Mirari's Wake and play the Flare. But I think we actually just... Oh boy, the downs. Do we gotta play the Moxin? I guess we gotta play the Moxin. We gotta play the Moxin because of Eidolon, or at least one of them. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, alright, that's it. Go. <laughs> Opponent. Yeah, drawing a land there would have been sweet. Opponent. Robber of the Rich. Oh god, if this steals a land, I'm gonna be salty. Opponent attacks. Steals Jessica's will. That's also not great. We draw Yogg will. Where's our lands? Where's our lands? Well, Chrome Mox. Yeah, this is bad. This is bad, bad, bad. Chrome Mox. Pitch Mana Flare. Seething Song, Aether Flux Reservoir. I think we, because of the robber, we gotta get cards out of our hand. We can't let our opponent just keep exiling our deck. Opponent. Sure would be nice if the wake was a land. <laughs> or the turnabout, or the Yogwill, or the Mana Flare. 
Sure, it would be nice if any of those cards was a land. I mean, we kind of have three lands because of the Moxin. They're just awkward with uh, with Mana Flares and Mirari Wake in specific. I think we got to dump our hand, right? I don't think we can hold it with the Robber of the Rich out. I think it's too... It's too painful. Like, our opponent already has our Jessica's Will, which we would have actually liked to draw. But they already have Jessica's Will they can use. Figure of Destiny. Well, okay. Okay. Um. Well, let's see what happens. Uh, we will Tinker. Oh, if we get days, I'm going to cry. Uh, tinker. Sacking actually Mox Pearl. Yeah, Mox Pearl. Gain a life. Get able as a citadel. Blood Chief's Thirst, kill the robber. Everflowing Chalice. We can't kick it, right? Yeah, all right. Everflowing Chalice. Gain some life. Okay, things are looking up a bit. Ancient Tomb. More colorless mana. Uh, Ancient Tomb. And Pluto Delta. All right. Well, we will pass the turn. Hope our stuff stays on the battlefield. Opponent. Yeah, we can always get the Pearl back. I think that's the reason to sack the Pearl is we can Yagwill it back. And this we have to exile a card from our hand. Wow, if, if they can't answer our artifacts, I like where we're at. Opponent. Gets and hits us. Sure. Passes. Well, um, all right. Under Road Breach. Gain some life. Yep. <laughs> also going to be interesting. Going to tap the Xander's Lounge. Okay, so make black mana. Actually, can we double blue? Maybe we're turnabouting. Yeah, let's make blue mana. Hmm. Yeah, we probably have to thirst to kill the the Exarch. So we make black mana. Gain some life. Get the breach. The question is, do we... Yeah, Turnabout doesn't do that much here anyway because we only got three lands again. Do we play the Bayou or do we fetch? Yeah, let's just play Bayou. All right, that's that's actually a great card to have on the top of our deck. Factor Fiction. Fill the graveyard, draw some cards. Uh, okay. Okay, this is looking up. We might actually be getting there. We might actually be getting there. Um, we will take the one with... Frantic Search. Ugh, top card's on land. Okay. So we have to kill Deceiver Exarch, or we risk dying. Uh, well, one, two, three, and this. Oh, it's double black. Hmm. Okay, black, black, like this. Blood Chief's Thirst. Kill Deceiver Exarch. Get rid of Tinker, Dark Slick Shores, Island. 
gain some life. And then Mox Actually, we got Yogwill. I don't even know. You know what? Let's just pass. We're not going to get comboed. Let's just pass. Let's just pass. We have we have Yogwill in hand. It's probably better not to exile everything. Opponent. I mean, we have to deal with the Deceiver XR, or else we risk just straight up losing to Kiki this turn. So I think we I think we have to kill that. The rest of the stuff we can leave and wait till next turn. And then if our opponent's not blowing up our stuff, it seems like there's a decent chance we should be able to win this turn. If we can't get to 50 this turn, I don't even know what our storm deck's doing. Opponent passes. Swamp on top. Uh okay, well. Play the swamp. Mine's desire on top. Uh, well, we will yog will gain some life. See if they have a counter. Oh boy, they do not. All right, Mox gain some life. Candelabra off the Mox. Gain some life. Probably should have frantic search first, actually. Um, storm counts three. Hmm. How many spells can we cast? Is the question. Should we just Mind's Desire now? I felt like the Candle Pie was better since they could Tomb Tap, Untap all lands for more mana. Well, remember, we were casting this for, for life. We are casting it for life. Yeah, let's one, two, three... We should have done this before to get cards in the graveyard. That well, oh yeah, hmm, you're right. We can't frantic search until after we mines desire. I see what you're saying. Well, I guess we just mines desire then. Not the biggest mines desire, but I think that's fine. Mines desire. Down to eleven. Gain some life. Spin it to win it. Land. Palincron. Oh, that's that's the hit. That is the hit. And a Baleful Strix. That's what we want to see. Grimmonolith. Gain some life. Now we should be good. Now we should be good. We just got to not mill out. Up to 18. Dismember. The figure of destiny. Actually, and also Heroes Downfall, the figure of destiny. Kill it. Kill it. Up to 24. Five. Wait, what happened to? Oh, we didn't get the palincrod. Oh, we didn't get the palincrod. Oh, I thought it was being exiled. Okay. Well, I mean, I think this is still fine. I think we still win here. Mox. Now we can. Now we can frantic search. We just gotta not mill out. Untap. Discard a couple lands. One, two, three. Four cards in our deck. All right, Baleful Strix. Oh no, we're gonna draw the Palancron. Well, that's fine. We just got to cast one more spell. I don't think any of this actually actually is going to matter. About it. Gets a land. Uh-oh. Are they doing something? Okay. Okay. 
resolves. <laughs> Blood Chief's Thirst. The Baleful Strikes. To gain some life. And then, uh-oh. Opponent incinerates in response. Brainstorm. Don't let Brainstorm resolve. Gain the life. Kill ya. Woo! Yes! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> oh good games good games yeah i had to, had to make sure y'all were paying attention had to make sure you're paying attention <laughs> wow that actually kind of worked and you wanted me to cut the marari's wake the marari's wake that was a, a perfectly amazing card to uh to discard to <laughs> to our frantic search uh... Uh, that was, that was actually a pretty sweet, that was a pretty sweet game. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe the deck's not as, as janky as I thought. Well, is that time out? I mean, that is a doubt. Did you, did you see the stream? We did a stream like, oh my goodness, a couple years ago now with Tomer, where Tomer wanted to force Storm with me. So we did a cube draft forcing Storm with Tomer. And I think we timed out every every round, I'm pretty sure. I don't even remember if we got any Storm kills. It was fun though. <laughs> hey, good good timing, good timing, Timber. Yeah, that was, a, that was a pretty epic game. Sorry I didn't play faster. I was trying to think through all the lines. So hopefully it wasn't too boring. It was a intricate, intricate uh, storming over there. <laughs> Good game. Thank you for the cheer, by the way. Yeah, that was that was a good one. That was a good one. That was fun. That was super fun. Oh, the other thing we got to do tonight. I don't think we're gonna do it right now. Did anyone take this uh, this survey? Apparently, there's a new Watsi survey. I figured I was saving it because I figured we would do it. Uh, we would do it together. So at some point, if we get a chance, we might we might do the survey. I'm curious what's in there. Ooh, we got the Citadel, and we can kind of ramp into it. I mean, Citadel seems like the the most important card o outside of Marari's Wake. I mean, <laughs> we'll keep outside of Marari's Wake. It's a it's our most important card. Stopping grounds for our opponent, and no eh, nothing. Okay, that's good. Well, Xander's Lounge and you. Yeah, I mean, we definitely uh, have drawn a lot of Mox Pearls. That is for certain. What is it with people and Robber the Riches? Come on now. Opponent, please don't rob us of a Storm card. All right, just a Mountain. That's fine. We didn't really want a Mountain anyway. Well, uh, Black Cleave Cliffs and Mox Pearl and pass the turn another aggro deck opponent goes to combat sure i think we'll take it I'm not drawing a card so i think it's fine they might play something better there's no uh there's no arena cube at the moment is there burgy yeah, that's that's probably worth probably worth killing. All right, kill the birdie. I guess this robber is unfortunately gonna live. Untap. Uh, play a baleful strix draw a card. Island goo. Yeah, this cube is wild. I am absolutely shocked at the cards that were uh, <laughs> were being passed in this one. I do like the true cube experience where once you've seen someone with a card, you know what else will have it. Yeah, cube is one of the formats where where the pod thing is a little awkward. I think we're gonna brainstorm to set up this <laughs> this robber of the rich. One, two, three, four. We already have white mana. We get to get down Citadel? 
All right. Put back, put back. Robber can steal our planes. Serving as a nothing burger. Not even sure what they're expecting to get out of it. Oh, is it not actually that interesting? Oh. I was hoping there was something juicy in there, but maybe, maybe no. All right, opponent hits us to 14. Forest and ran in realm breaker. Sure. Takes down, Ooh, Ember Cleave. All right, opponent's just like Gruel Aggro. Well, let's see what a Bullis of Citadel can do. Let's see what it can do. Opponent gets back a land. Okay, we untap. We draw the island. Play the Mox. Play the Swamp. Run out the Citadel and hope something good's on top. Actually, you know what? I think I think we just let our opponent steal that. <laughs> We're not winning this turn anyway, so go ahead and steal it. We can't see Ving Song and cast the Citadel, unfortunately. We don't have enough we don't have enough black mana about it. Uh, glory bringer, okay. Whew, that's not a lot of life. There's Marari's Wake. Well, okay. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens about it. Well, I was going to be really close. So we pretty much got to win this turn with eight life. Hmm. Worth pointing out, we can we can actually cast this Marari's wig. Oh no. How do we do this? Oh, this is tricky. So we need Hmm. Do we cast the Brawl? So many decisions with this deck. So many decisions. So if we cast Brawl, we go to six. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Down to six. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Let's play Marari's Wake. Play Marari's Wake. This is what we got. Frantic Search down to three. Well, there's the Reservoir. Oh, but there's a land on top. Wait, do we play? Do we play a land? We haven't played a land, right? I don't think we've played a land. So discard the land. Discard the seething song. Oh, wake is totally worth it. We're gonna win. We're gonna win now, I think. So discard, discard, untap the lands. Play the Volcanic Island. Oh, God, upheaval. Well, that's not exactly what we wanted on the top of our deck. Um, play Reservoir. Play Grim Monolith. Gain some life. Play Factor Fiction and see what happens. Back up to 14. Oh, there's a breach. There's a breach. There's a breach. Does that do it? Pwn it. Doesn't want us to get that turnabout. Does not want us to get. Are we going to win from here? Are we actually going to win this? The nice thing about Seething Song is we had a lot of ways to replay it from the graveyard. Do we get to see what's on the top of our deck? No. 
Shouldn't we be able to see what's on top of our deck or no? Hmm. Take the breach. Take the breach and just wait for next turn. So if we take turnabout, all that matters is what's on the top of our deck. Oh yeah, I guess that's technically the top five cards of our deck here. Right? That makes sense. If we take breach, we're very likely to win next turn. Yeah, let's, I mean, let's set up for next turn. I Okay, land on top. So we're at 14. We have a blocker. This kills this. We drop to eight, seven, six, five. <clears throat> Do, I mean, I guess we can try to keep going. Like we get Underworld Breach Brainstorm. We don't have enough mana to... F oh, we have Baral. You're right. We can Frantic Surge. Ah, I was, I was not taking into account the Baral discount. Yeah, the Baral is going to do it here. So, Underworld Breach. Frantic Surge. Dismember Baleful Strix Island. And yeah, that should actually be enough. Because it untaps our lands as well. Gain the life. Frantic Surge. Uh, discard two lands that we don't want, untap three lands, and then frantic search, uh, tap a land. Wait, why are we paying frantic search, tap a land? Oh yeah, we're, we're definitely good. We're definitely good. One, two, and three. Draw some cards. Gain some life up to 38. Untap our lands. Discard, discard. And yeah, that's that's going to do it. Wow, did we actually build a good storm deck? Did we actually accidentally build a good storm deck? I think we might uh, accidentally build a good storm deck. An opponent scoops it up. Woo! <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe this is working. And did you notice what was on the battlefield chat? <laughs> did you notice what was on the battlefield? <laughs> oh, I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. Mm, yeah, double mox, double mox. I mean, that's our that's our Morari's wake mana. <laughs> That was a that was a wake win. That was a wake win. Uh, do we want to change anything? Opponent, I guess hero's downfall is probably fine. Second, just like playing random creature style deck, just like an aggro. I guess blood chief serves. Maybe we just bring in all the removal again. Three matches for cube. Yeah, three matches. We'll see. Maybe we can go undefeated. That would be that would be sweet. If we could actually go undefeated, that would be spectacular. Ooh, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I like that we have the reservoir. Yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll try this. We'll try this. We're good. Count Joku! Welcome. We're 1 0 right now. I should update that. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your Orcish Lumberjack. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big super for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, Tinker is. Tinker is a sweet one. A really, really sweet one. Um, okay. We actually just kind of want to draw a land. If we draw a land, we can just tinker out Citadel. <laughs> and uh, go to town. Let's see if our opponent starts sacking lands. 
Orcish Lumberjack can do some frightening things. Pound it, sex. They're forest. That's awkward. Okay. Arbor Elf. Minskin Boo. Well, that's a, that is a start. I don't know about the Arbor Elf sack the forest plan, but I don't know how we beat a Minskin Boo, so I guess we're dead. <laughs> Turn two Minskin Boo is like kind of ridiculous. Okay, so we need to draw, we need to draw land so we can tinker out citadel and just hope for something good to happen wow what a opponent's got the the gruel start here aj gay mark welcome to the fishbowl thank you so much for your you do the land thank you so much for your subscription big super here for you thank you thank you thank you well okay um play an island play a mox emerald play an ever flowing chalice uh x zero tinker the ever flowing chalice we did make our land drop uh get this citadel huh hmm yeah turn to minskin booza that orcish lumberjack did some work So we can make three mana? We need this reservoir on the battlefield. Yeah, drawing cards doesn't do anything, so I guess we make three. Oh, all right. Okay, we need a way to untap our lands. Dismember. Wow, we're going to kill ourselves here. Uh, Dismember the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, we need if they had one more card in hand, we'd be winning. We really need frantic surge is the top card of our deck. It's got to be the next card down's got to be frantic surge or we're done. Oh, if we could have got one more mana. So this makes another one, right? When it enters the battlefield, we need our upkeep make boo so it's gonna happen anyway okay well chrome mox actually might matter oh but there's a swap on top oh is there any way is there any way we could do it wow we were so close oh we were so close we don't have the ability to cast a spell wow Oh, we almost did it. The Crow Mox gives us enough mana to cast the, the Aether Flux. We can kill the, the Boo, but it comes back. We don't have enough mana to kill that. Breach doesn't do it because, yeah, Minskin Boo is a good card, isn't it? We can Breach and, yeah, not really. Nothing, nothing that actually matters. We can breach and kill the... Ah, we don't even have the right colors of mana for that. We needed this to be a spell we could cast. Like, if this was a spell we could cast with a reservoir, we'd gain a bunch of life and we'd be good. How, how would you have played it, Cloaking? Did you have a... Did you have a plan for preventing the turn two, uh, turn two Minskin Boo? Um, all right, we're on the play. Who oh. can we keep this hand? We got a lot of our best cards, but it just doesn't do anything. Yeah, Minskin Boo is kind of kind of strong. Uh, I don't think I don't, I don't really like the new nothing plan. I don't think things get better if we do if we just like pass the turn against the Minskin Boo. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we got a mulligan it. Hmm, all right. I mean, I guess we'll. This one will probably try. 
Hopefully our opponent does not have that fast of a start again. If they have that fast of a start, I don't know what we do, but we'll keep. What do we put to the bottom? I guess Mana Flare? Yeah, unfortunately. Let's go Mana Flare bottom. All right. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, yeah, I was updating the record, and then I got distracted by a Minskin Blue. We're 1-0 we're right now and 1-1 one one in uh in this game. Well, Island, go. Opponent. Forest. And, all right, no, no Dark Ritual this turn, which is nice. I'll play the Swamp. Pass the turn. I actually want to cast this Factor Fiction. We're kind of hoping we just draw land. Do we need a frantic? I don't want a frantic search. Let's pass the turn. I blame chat too. That's usually a safe. That's usually a safe, uh, safe plan. When in doubt, blame chat. <laughs> All right. No, at this time we were already facing down Minskimbu last game, so I'm feeling better about. Oh well. In the long term, Xander's Lounge is a good land. In the short term, it's a little annoying. Pass the turn. A reminder, if you need some magic cards, you can get them from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, over at cardkingdom.com slash mtggoldfish. All right, opponent runs out a Tosca. We draw a Grim Monolith. Hmm. So it's a color that would have artifact destruction. Yeah, po opponent's playing some bird tribal over there. <laughs> uh, well. Let's chromatix. Pitch the Hmm. Seething song, probably? We did four star. Hey, what's up, McCary? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Probably Seething song. And then the question is do we just foff or do we run out the reservoir? A little bit afraid of our opponent just blowing it up, but it sets us up for a nice turn next turn if we untap with it. I guess if we foff, we can also make a land drop, which, yeah, maybe we just foff right now. Let's do it that way. Let's foff. Do a main phase so we can hit our land drop. Wow, those are some, those are some cards. Well, okay. Opponent, Citadel to the side. If they do Citadel versus, we're pretty happy with that. We we could we could accept that. I'm sure Citadel is what they're most afraid of. But those okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, I think we take the brainstorm pile. Yeah, I mean, we need the we need the ancient tomb. So, all right, play the tomb. Not going to play the Grim Monolith. Pass the turn. Well, let's see if we can win next turn. We're going to have to probably get a little lucky, but it doesn't seem impossible. Reservoir. Well, I don't know if we can actually win-win. Ancient Tomb. Ancient Tomb Mirror. Opponents. Arbor Elf. And Porcelain Legionnaire. Ooh, Candelabra, too. Okay, well. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. So we need to not die. We need our opponent not to draw infinite cards. Yeah, we can always get Citadel back from the graveyard. That is possible. 
I don't know if we can win from this position or not. We're a little pinched on mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus, hopefully, a land drop eventually. This is free. So we could Grim Monolith. Grim Monolith. Into. Hmm. Grim Monolith, Ether Flux. Frantic search? Wait, if we play Reservoir... If we play Reservoir, we can't... Um, we can't Frantic search, right? So we play Reservoir... Tarmagoy flows for the 71st month. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Storm is like a puzzle to put together. Big super cheer for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Brawl into Frantic Search. Frantic Search kind of generates mana. Brawl, Frantic Search, untap, but then we don't have the reservoir down yet. So if we play Baral, we Frantic Surge, we untap. Yeah, Storm takes too much thinking. All right, let's, let's Baral. We have Moxin we can draw into too. So get down Baral. Frantic Surge. Untap our lands. Oh, there's Palancron. Um, discard Candelabra. Discard Heroes Downfall. I think. Yeah, discard Heroes Downfall. Untap our lands. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we can afford to keep Candelabra here. That's another one that we can get back in the in the future. <laughs> yeah, the stream mode all keeps drifting away as we have to look at things. <laughs> uh, er, hmm. Wow, this is storm count's only two, so not very high. So we can grim monolith, ether flux, brainstorm. We can wait on the monolith and just brainstorm. I mean, I think we play Ether Flux. Brainstorm gain a bunch of life. Opponent. Wow, do they just have a removal spell for it? All right, so we gain some life. We brainstorm. Hmm. Top of the library, not great. Not great. Um. I'll put back turnabout. Yeah, we're not drawing anything for a minute. Or not next turn, at least. Put back, put back. Volcanic Island. Run out the Baleful Strix. Okay. Oh. All right. Well, we lost our... <laughs> we lost our Aether Flux for now, but they did shuffle away the cards that we didn't exactly want. 
We really need, we need a Yogwill. We need a Yogwill. That's the thing we're missing. All right, pass the turn. Okay, okay, come on, Yogwill. Come on, Yogwill. Opponent plays a mountain. Yogwill would be very good. This Toski drawing cards is very bad. Avalanche Riders to blow up a land. That's also pretty annoying. About it. Yeah, we have good draws. Losing the Ancient Tomb hurts. Opponent combat. Attacks, attacks, attacks. Well, we block there for free. And yeah, we're gonna block there. We don't wanna we don't wanna let our opponent draw. So the opponent draws one. We go to twenty-one. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Give us something good. Ooh, breach. Hmm. Does breach do it? Maybe. Wow, that's that is interesting. Do we have enough mana? We have the frantic search, which we can cast a bunch of times. Oh no, so much counting. So okay, breach. Breach is two. Oh, if we had the ancient tomb, things would be so much easier. Losing losing the ancient tomb is actually super annoying. Yeah, the clock is the clock is running. I mean, we're pretty much winning or losing this turn, I think. Yeah, is breach search enough is the question. And do we have enough mana? So one, two, we play this, we play this, we play this. So this is three. Because we want to get this out first if possible. So all right, let's do the math. So, okay, one, two, plus one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We play the Underworld Breach. That's eight. Play the Breach, four. Four for the Reservoir. And then start the Frantic Searching. I think that works. Yeah, it's gonna go much, fi it's gonna go much faster once we it's gonna go much faster once we start comboing. We just gotta make sure that we we just gotta make sure that we do it correctly to start. So all right, Grim Monolith. Tap Grim Monolith. Underworld Breach. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Play the Mox. Actually, okay, play, play Reservoir. One, two, three, Four. So play Reservoir, Exile, Exile, and Exile. Who it's back. Play the Mox, start gaining life. And I think, unless our opponent has some interaction, this should be the combo kill. Well, okay. Well, that's <laughs> that's unfortunate. Uh yes, now we're dead. Well, okay. <laughs> we found the line, but boy did our opponent have some hate cards. <laughs> oh, I mean the thing is with a deck like this, if you 
if you miscount by a single mana, the entire the entire crookie crumbles. So I think Storm in specific, I know it's probably, maybe it's a bad stream deck because you got to actually think about things. But Storm in specific, it's a deck where it's like, if you're like, oh yeah, we'll just win with this. And then you realize, oh, I didn't count like the, the extra mana or the mana deduction on something. Then like everything just doesn't happen. Hmm. I actually feel, that actually made me feel pretty good about our deck though. Like, I mean, what are the chances... What are the chances that we ran into someone that had besage you into Force of Vigor while they were tapped out? Like, pretty, pretty unlikely. So it's not like our deck was bad. It was that our opponent just happened to have, like, all the hate cards. I mean, we just win with... The win there is just Frantic Search. Like, we just cast Frantic Search, like, three times and we win. Yeah, I don't think there's much we can do about it, unfortunately. So, uh, that's in the, the the power of free spells is there's not much you can do about it. I think really the the Toski, the bird Toski did some work for our opponent. Those extra cards that they got to draw were were pretty massive as far as uh as far as giving them the fuel to be able to do that. Ah, good old. I mean, the deck has worked better than I expected it to. I'll give it. I will give it credit for that at least. Better than better than I would have thought. Oh, did you see? Did you see Prof? Jeez, Chef, Do you watch Chef Wolf and play? I saw. I saw on Twitter. Prof did. Uh, has a Kickstarter going to Learn Community College for the new season of Chef Wolf and play, and it's raised almost two hundred thousand dollars in a few hours, which is like incredibly, incredibly impressive. It is a it is a really good series, that's for sure. I have no dad. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big super for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I was I was blown away. That's people people must really love the people must really love the show, and I mean rightly so. It's a it's a very well done a very well done show. Hmm. Can't actually cast anything, but we do have a mox and a monolith. I think we just mulligan. Well, <laughs> we are amazing at drawing Mox Pearl. Like, seriously, blown away how good we're, we are at drawing Mox Pearl. Well, okay. Not good, not good, not not great, not, not good. Uh, well, okay, let's see what happens. <laughs> not good ads. I'm glad people have lots of spare money to spend on magic and also have spare money for charity. Opponent, Underground River. Are we even thought? Oh boy. Oh dear. Oh, this hand. This hand. <laughs> have I been invited on Prop Show? I have. I just props on the. I live on the wrong side of the country for all this stuff, and I hate. I really do not like. Uh, do not like traveling. So that's always the sticking point with the, with all the the West Coast stuff. It's just. Not not super easy to get to, especially where I am. You can't get a direct flight or anything, so it's just a huge, a huge, uh, a huge hassle. So I think it'll hopefully happen at some point. It's just a matter of getting out there. Yeah, another charity stream is a good idea. It's been a minute. The return of the pizza stream, pizza stream part two, bitter blossom. All right, opponent's playing some uh, some good clean fair cube. We have to cast the cards this turn. You may play them this turn. Ew. Yeah, I know. I wish we had a commander. That would make this so much better. Well, our mana colors are going to be good. Come on, deck. How about some... Uh, the Mold of Five into Thought Seas. Yeah, I think... I was actually just talking to... I was actually just talking to uh to Prof about that, and I said I actually said the same thing. Like I think I'm probably gonna have to go out west at some point to visit my brother in Utah. So maybe maybe I can come out and like do that, and then go to your place or something. So I think I think there's a good chance it'll it'll happen. I mean, so many of the content creators are on the West Coast. Like that's where Game Nights is. Uh, that's where like. Uh, Kibler and that whole crew is like uh, that's kind of like at this point I would say the dominant place for magic content is the West Coast. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's my he's in college at the moment. Abundant. Oh god. Well, opponent's all about that discard. That's for sure. Yes. Yeah, is well, the Mulda the Mulda five is gonna make this especially difficult. Cap Cap and Scoop. <laughs> if they want to scoop, that's fine. Live up to your name, opponent. Live up to your name. Oh my goodness, the anchovy pizza was the worst. It was not the best upheaval time. How's he liking BYU? He's managed to not get kicked out yet, so that's a that's a win. <laughs> score score one for little bro somehow. <laughs> About it cracks the marsh flats. Ooh, Elspit. This is like oh, this act actually kind of this reminds me. I don't know if you ever played Legacy. This reminds me of Dead Eye Dead Guy Ale, they called it in Legacy. It was like a a black white discard deck with him to two rocks and you play the like bitter blossoms and try to pick apart your opponent's hand and mind twist wasn't legal but i guess him to two rocks replacement reminds me a lot of that like the the cube version of of that well i guess we just pass i honestly do not do not really know how we're gonna win the game at this point on the mold of five about it well, Elspeth, okay, down to down to four. Down to four, opponent goes to 11. They have spent a bunch of life, which is good news. Uh, he did, he was all right last season. He was kind of up and down. He was kind of in between, like, he started some games. He was like the six man some games and trying to trying to adjust to the new culture so i think he did uh, he did okay he's looking forward to to next season after having a little more a little more time to adjust it's oh mine's desire well i mean we're gonna die so i guess we're uh, so we cast this we generate a mana is there any way we get to mine's desire one two three plus one i mean can we wait another turn if they jump this Four, five, six. I guess we can wait. I guess we can try to wait one more turn. Thing is, even if we do it, like, what's what good can come of it? Not much. Oh, they have. <laughs> All right, yeah. We're not. We're not beating that. Not ever. Well, okay. Lots of. Di do we have anything that's good against infinite discard? Jeez. I mean, I think really we probably just got to avoid mulling to five. That's probably the big thing. Run it back, run it back. So, so, uh, spoiler season for Lord of the Rings starts Tuesday. So, reminder that we'll probably be. Actually, yeah, Pass in Flames could be good. Paradoxical Outcome. I don't think we managed to support Paradoxical Outcome well enough in this deck to really make it worth it, even though it is a cool Storm Guard. Hey, yeah, what's uh, what's your brother's name, Chad? Yeah, I don't think we want to try to fight our opponent's deck too much. Like, I don't think I don't think we care about trying to like blow up. Well, we got the past in flames. I don't think we really care about trying to like blow up the bitter blossom. I think our plan is we're we're gonna try to combo off. That is that is a plan. We're gonna combo off. We're gonna make it work. Lord of the Rings is going to be modern legal. Oh, but all that to say, uh, early stream. Early stream on, on Tuesday to for spoiler purposes. So probably start at like 11-ish, 10, 10.30 a.m. Like, so like three, three-ish hours earlier than normal. So we can stream and then watch the, watch the Wasi stream and then do spoilery, spoilery stuff. Yeah, that's honestly, I really want to. Hey, Matt, how's it going? Thank you. Uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Hello, hello. Yeah, I think I think that Summit is more likely because of that, actually. 
last year I, I couldn't make it to summit, but this year I'm going to see if I can, if I can make it happen because it's, it's, uh, it's in the same place. So I can do a little, do a little, uh, swing through, see my brother, fulfill those obligations and then do summit. So I think that's, that's my plan. Hopefully I haven't seen much announced about summit yet. Like I haven't actually seen, I haven't actually seen anything about it. I know what's happening, but I haven't seen details. So as it gets closer, I'm hoping if you're if you're listening, Summit people, if you want to invite me this year, I will I will probably make the trip. I heard Summit was really good last year. It seemed like everyone really liked it. All right. Well, we're not getting torn apart by discard yet, which I like. Come on, Tinker. How about a Tinker? How's about to Tinker? Or brainstorm. Um, do we even brainstorm yet? Our hand is pretty sketchy. Yeah, let's brainstorm. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's not brainstorm. Let's just play the land. Get in with Brawl. Hit our bonnet. Have you ever listened to any of Steve Reich or Terry Ryle or similar minimalist electronic artists? I'm a massive fan. I am not familiar with either of those names, although it sounds like something I might like. I'll have to I'll have to look them up. There should be a payoff mechanic that cares about the number of different parasitic mechanics you have. <laughs> Energy poison dungeons, rings, temps. The ring temp, oops, the ring temp thing, it seems like they're trying to make it slightly less parasitic. Like, I mean, I guess it's still going to be parasitic, but it seems like, uh, from what we've seen, just a little bit that we've seen of it so far is, it does seem like it's going to care about, like, oh, yeah, Bolus of Citadel was the main reason to run it out. Like, if we draw a Citadel... We can potentially potentially get it down, but now that's not happening, unfortunately. Well, we got a brainstorm. Well, there's all of our lands. Put back Citadel. Put back Past in Flames. Oh no, that shuffles. Okay, hang on. Now we gotta think. Okay, put back Pass in Flames, put back Citadel. Play Darks like Shores. Pa hit you for one, pass the turn. But it seems like there's gonna be a lot built around the day uh the the ring bear mechanic. I don't know if it's gonna end up being good or not, but I I think it's it seems kind of interesting. It seems like it'd be really good for limited. I don't know how good it'll be for actual, like, constructed magic. Opponent ticks down. Well, there goes Baral. Okay, we draw Citadel. Well, Chrome Mox. Exile Seething Song. Hmm. Yeah, Exile Seething. Well. Let's Exile. Yeah, let's Exile Seething Song. Exile Seething Song. Play the land. I mean, let's see if this Citadel sticks. That's going to be. That is going to be the question. That is more or less the game at this point. Uh, Citadel. Cast a pass in flames. Land on top. Ah, uh, not great. Not great. Okay, opponent. We need the Citadel to live. They already use a seal from existence. How many ways can they possibly have to blow up the Citadel? To Fairy Time Raveler. Okay. Obnoxious. Bounces. Mox, no, Mox Pearl Mind Twist. I mean, if that's what they have, then we're, I think we're done. <sighs> wow. 
Wow. Wow. Yeah, I mean, there's... I don't think there's any point in continuing at this point. That is unfortunate. That was the... <laughs> The four card combo to get rid of the to get rid of the bullets in Citadel. What would you run in constructed unset only format? I'm calling it con un unstructed. <laughs> yeah, I think we just I think we just scoop. Um, we'll do one more draft. We probably yeah, that's just unfortunate. Um, we'll do one more draft. We probably won't make it through all the games, but that draft took us like almost two and a half hours. So we probably won't make it through all the games, but I would like to draft again and maybe we get in a game. I think, uh, I feel like the storm deck worked pretty well. Like, unfortunately the record was one in two, but in reality, like it, it actually did what it was supposed to do. The plan, the plan worked. Unfortunately, in match two, our opponent had just the pile of free hate cards. And then in match three, uh, our opponent was playing like a relatively fair deck, but they they just happened to to have the, the right cards for the matchup. I I have never brewed in unset formats. I, I have no idea what I would what I would run. Are we still forcing Storm? Not not necessarily. I mean I think we'll do whatever whatever the, the, the packs say we should do. But I don't think we're committed. We already forced Storm, so I don't think we're we're committed to forcing uh forcing Storm. A contraption deck. I like Reanimator. I think Reanimator is really powerful. Gorio's Vengeance is okay reanimation. Like, what's our what's the best card? So, when it comes down to it, <laughs> Vintage Cube, do busted things, stop busted things. Force of Negation is pretty good at stopping busted things. We got blown out by Force of Vigor. Hidden card under chat. There you go. It's I think it's a uh, inspiring vantage. Yeah, Sad Robot is is pretty meaty. Well, it could be okay in like an artifact deck, maybe. This is not a very good, not a very great first pack. It's it's pretty mid. Plow under is is sweet in some sort of like green deck. If you go heavy on green. Uh, Force of Negation, Gorya's Vengeance, Plow Under. Nah. I mean, mono white and mono red are definitely good. They just kind of bore me in cube. If I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna take the fours. They just kind of bore me in cube. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna do cube, I'm. Pr Ooh. If I'm gonna do cube, I'm I'm pr usually try to avoid drafting those decks just because they aren't that interesting. Uh, for me personally, I'm tempted to take strip mine. Was there a crucible in the last pack? I feel like there was a crucible in the last pack. I can't remember for sure though. Yeah, we got we got lumberjack last game. Strip mine, strip mine would be fun. We could take the Kiki wheel the pester mite. It does work really well with force negation. Oh, it was excavator. Yeah, some sort of strip mine lock. Although strip mine locking is a little sketchy with. A little bit sketchy with so many banner rocks running around and moxing and so forth. I mean, Kiki, Kiki Pestermite is a is a good deck. Is that? Eh, why don't we go Kiki Pestermite? We're set up. We're set up. Ooh, but that's a reanimate. Okay. Hmm. It's gonna be hard to pass up reanimate. We're not really committed to anything at this point. There's also a mana tithe. Mana tithe might get me into. Mana tithe might get me to play mono white. That's the kind of card that would make me interested in playing mono white. Strip mine's probably at its best. Yes, like in this in vintage cube is like a tempo card in aggro decks. I'm tempted to just take reanimate. Yeah, let's take reanimate. We don't really need to. We don't need to commit to any. Oh, recur I love Recurring Nightmare. Recurring Nightmare is so much fun. I don't even know if Recurring Nightmare is good. Look at that art. All oh, that art is so good. I I just love everything about the guard. 
Recurring Nightmare leads to like really grindy, loopy reanimator decks. Yeah, Sheldon's really good. Even reanimatable. You know what? I'm gonna take Recurring Nightmare. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna. Oh, there's a Storm card we couldn't get last time. Wow, that's a Wasteland too. Oh, Strip Man, a Strip Mine, and Wasteland would be kind of appealing. Hmm. All right, now we gotta. Now we gotta think about where we're heading with this. Looping Acidic Slime with Recurring Nightmare seems sweet. Snapcaster Recurring Nightmare would be okay. Yeah, some sort of like Saltai Recurring Nightmare deck, maybe. Blight Steel is a little tricky to reanimate. I think that's that's something that's more for like the artifact deck, really. I don't think our deck, where we're at right now, I don't think can really use it. I think I'm actually gonna take a Slitic Slime. Yogg actually works in that plan relatively well. Yag is another way to like sack creatures for value. We might be like a oh, I hate to say this, but like a, a fairer, grindier reanimation deck. Oracle would be fine. We're gonna need some like mana dorks or something to get this plan going. I think Scarab God would be good for Salt Eye. Oracle, Oracle's fine. Woe Strider is like medium. I'm tempted just to take Yogg. Yeah, let's take Yogg and see where we end up. So take the Yogg. Ooh, Doretti. Doretti fills the graveyards. Actually, ooh. <laughs> Deranged Hermit actually kind of just combos with Recurring Nightmare. It's pretty fair, but Deranged Hermit is like, that's a classic, and it combos with Yogg. You know what? Okay, we're, we're building super fair... We are playing super fair magic this <laughs> this draft. Maybe too fair. We will see. Yeah, Hermit's really good with Yogg and with Recurring Nightmare. I think... Well, remember we have a Kiki and a Force of Negation, but those are less likely. What do we take here? Scavenging Ooze? Liliana would be, like, Okay. Ooze is, Ooze is fine. It kind of hates on stuff. And let's take Ooze. Yeah, we would like some discard. We got blown out by Force of Vigor. I don't know if this is really a Plow Wonder deck. I guess it could kind of be. Plow Wonder really wants a ton of early ramp. Like, that's the... That's the biggest thing. That's the biggest thing we need, I think. It's just, like, super early ramp. <laughs> Force of Vigor is like, Force of Vigor is really good. Uh, you know what? Just for you, Stone Ray. We'll take Plow Wonder. I don't know if we can. Oh, uh, just kidding. Apparently, we took Force of Vigor. I thought I clicked the Plow Wonder, but Shriek Maw, Shriek Maw is good. And it works with the loop and its removal. So that's pretty good all around. I'm sorry, Stone Ray. I thought I took it, but apparently, apparently, I didn't click it in time. This pack has nothing. Like, literally, literally, literally nothing. Huh. Well, we'll take mana. We'll t what? I clicked the mana. Okay, apparently I just got to click way earlier because I know I clicked the mana tithe. <laughs> like, I know 100% I clicked the mana tithe. Lawyer retainer, sack it, return a legendary creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. Yeah, let's, when in doubt, take a land. I don't know what we're ever going to do with that land, but we'll take it. Hero's Downfall is not the worst. All right, well, we're off to a, we're off to a fair, a fair start. A very fair start. City of Traders is a little tricky to, ooh. 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 Mill ourselves out with Atroxa. <laughs> Ellis Shorn would also be sweet if we have the mana. Oko's busted. Thought Seas is just great. Like, Thought Seas is always good. The lands are good. Oh, this is a tough, this is a tough pick. I mean, Atrox is one of the best things to loop, right? If we're reanimating and so forth. Una's Prowler is also something we would like in the deck. 
Yeah, Ellis Jordan would be super fun. Ren actually wouldn't be bad just as a way to fill the graveyard. <sighs> Thoughtseize is the best card. I would agree with that. I mean, it probably is the best card. Oko's really good, too. The only thing with Atrox is I almost feel like... Has anyone tried to Atrox Unlimited? I almost feel like it's like a, a Jin Gitaxius where we're going to mill ourselves out. All right, we're gonna we're gonna responsibly take a thought. Sees as boring as that is. <laughs> now what? We have no. We have hidden zero mana mana ramp. No mana dorks at all. Somehow, rotting Registrar might be fine. It's big. It puts things in the graveyard, which then we can get out of the graveyard. I mean, last draft Atroxa wheeled, so maybe Atroxa will come back somehow. I mean, Thrag Tusk Recurring Nightmare is pretty sweet. I'm a little worried that we're just, like, stacking up a million five drops and, and don't have any ramp. Like, very, very fair. Very, very fair. Probably, like, at this point, way too fair just because we, I mean, we have no fast anything. Revoker is actually pretty good, and we can reset it. I think Thrag Tusk, actually most of this stuff will probably come back. Yeah, let's take Revoker. Revoker we can reset, which is nice. I do like that. Well, Armor Elf is, is probably worth it. I think we can make our mana. If we're Golgari, we should be able to get a Forest, right? Knight's Whisper would be fine, but I would really like to speed the deck up a little bit. I feel like right now we're super slow. Arbor Elf, yeah, I, I agree. I think that's the the right pick. Bone Shards. King of Sharks! Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big super for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cockla's actually <laughs> probably pretty good to loop. Underground Sea. Blue is a possible splash color. I could I could see I could see that being underground sea being worth it. Bone shards. Actually, bone shards. I don't know how much removal we want. As long as we're playing against other fair decks, bone shards is pretty good. We can discard something to reanimate. I feel like a lot of the stuff that we would draft would is gonna, is gonna table. All the cards we're talking about are like 14th picks. Maybe we should just take a land and trust that they're gonna come back. You know what? Let's take Kogla. I think I think the other one will come back anyway. Well, Jor Joraga is a uh, ooh or Skull Clamp, Skull Clamp, ooh Skull Clamp Deranged Hermit, Skull Clamp Recurring Nightmare. Mmm. Hmm. We need reanimation targets. Yeah. Kogla's kind of a reanimation target. Dismember is good, but we're already kind of not doing that bad with removal. We got a so we got a thought seize, we got a shriek mall, we got a dam, we got a hero's downfall. So we already have drafted quite a bit. Jiraga's a good a good aggro card. I think it's either that or skull clamp. I like I I mean it's a soul ring essentially, slow ring, but still. Oh, there's deceiver X arc. I bet if we had went for it, we could have had a really good twin deck. Oh wow, squirrel tribal. Wait. <laughs> So this is what I think. <laughs> it is Squirrel Tribal. I mean, the noblest of Fireworks is probably better. Mismeric Fiend's also pretty good. Blooming Marsh is also pretty good. But if we're staying two colors, our mana is not as much of a concern. Kitchen Finks actually works pretty well with Recurring Nightmare. Uh, more. Yeah, let's let's. Uh, it probably wheels, doesn't it? The question is, can we take Noble Hierarchy the land because Deranged Hermit will wheel? Uh, all right, we won't risk it. Squirrel Tribal's too funny to too funny to pass up. We gotta <laughs> we gotta just go for it. We gotta just go for it. I I th we might regret it because it might have wheeled. Hmm. Augur of Autumn, Bolus of Citadel, sort of feast and famine. Augur, Augur seems pretty okay. Sort of Feast and Famine's also okay. 
I think I'm probably more interested. I know we missed the Toski earlier. If I had known, if I had known we'd be Squirrel Tribal. Let's try Augur. What does this do? ETBs, you come to the Monarch. Beating your upkeep, you can put a land card from your hand on the battlefield. If you have Monarch, you may put a creature from your... Oh. Wait, is this card busted? You become the Monarch. You become the Monarch, get to put things into play for free, or... Hmm. How good is Court of Bounty? I don't think I've ever played with Court of Bounty, but it seems like it would be fine. Maybe even good. Let's Let's try it. Let's try it. Ooh, mom. Mom on the wheel. That does make even more squirrels. Although, at this point, we have not focused on being white, like, at all. Una's Prowler, I think, is what we need to take. Like, just to just have a way to get things in the graveyard. to get. Hey! It came back! It came back! <laughs> now we really are squirrel tribal. <laughs> <coughs> oh, my God. <coughs> I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen anyone squirrel tribal in Vintage Cube before, but we did it. We did it. Uh, Night's Whisper. We already... So we, we four storm in the first draft, and we want to do a little more drafting, so not not committed to... Not committed to forcing storm in this draft. We could still be there. Maybe we're maybe we're squirrel storm. <laughs> we're, we're working up to it. We're working up to it. <laughs> Bunch of red cards. All right. Something busted. I mean, this deck looks fun. It might be too fair for Vintage Cube, but it looks like a kind of deck that I will enjoy playing. Like, it's got a lot of sweet cards. It's got little value loops. Yeah, I probably do need some water. Good thing there's an entire gallon of water sitting here. <laughs> Ewok. The Ewok. I know. The Ewoks with Lord of the Rings coming. You gotta be on top of those sneaky Ewoks. Um, ooh. Hmm. Wow, this pick is interesting in several ways. So, okay, obviously Mox. Mox busted, always take it, blah, blah, blah. Braids would be pretty sweet with all of our squirrels. Hornet Queen would also be pretty sweet with Recurring Nightmare. Upheaval I also just like. Windswept Teeth would be good to fix their mana. But I mean, you can't pass a Mox, right? We just, you know, we just have to take it. There's, it's just the most busted thing. Hey, was your opponent that kept mind twist to you last draft? Good game. Hey, good game. Next level. Yeah, that that uh, the mind twist on the in game one on the mall. Ugh, that was that was brutal on the mall to five. And then the last one, that Teferi. Dirty, dirty Teferi. Good, good game. Good game. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, so many of those other cards are more fun, but Mox is just so strong. I don't think there's any any reasonable argument for passing it. I mean, Voidwalker's a really good card. That does kind of actually work with the looping plan very slowly. Spring Bloom Druid would be fine. Calder Complete, Ink and Stoneforge. If we had the Stoneforge, it'd be good. We can take the fetch to improve our mana. I guess we're gonna have enough playables. Yeah, let's let's be slightly responsible. Hopefully, we get a dual land to go with it. That would be that would be sweet. Wow, this pack has. What about this? You become the monarch. When you become the monarch, target player sacks a creature. I mean, I guess looping a. That actually seems absurd in our deck in uh, in fair matchups. All of this is assuming we're playing fair matchups, but. Custody Lich actually would be great with Recurring Nightmare, wouldn't it? Just every turn, Zack a creature become the Monarch. Mind Slaver is definitely super fun. I don't know if our deck is set up to really do anything with it, but locking someone with Mind Slaver is one of my favorites. I kind of want to try. Maybe we're like a Monarch Squirrel deck. Let's try. Let's try this Lich. Although maybe the Lich tables because no one else knows what it does. <laughs> Blood Crypt to be able to uh, to get off the Wooded Foothills. I guess that does make this a dual land. Mm, but Cust eh, I guess Lich will come back. All right. Y'all and your responsible drafting. Boo. Boo to you. Be Actually, you know what? Uh, now I love that pick because it lets us play Avalanche Riders, maybe. And Avalanche Riders Recurring Nightmare is <laughs> is uh, is pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. <laughs> 
Grave Titan's good. Ashen Riders. Ashen Riders is kind of ridiculous. We're kind of building Nick Fit, but without without a veteran explorer. I guess in, this is the kind of deck that Vraska would actually probably be pretty good in. Balance is also, like, just a ridiculous card. Huh, I don't know. I don't know what to take. Yeah, Tooth and Nail is also really powerful. I don't know if we're ramp heavy enough for it. Nine mana is nine mana is a ton. Grave Titan's probably probably the way to go for this deck, I think. Well, Maelstrom Pulse isn't horrible. Can we do anything with Luris? Not really. I mean, Maelstrom Pulse is good removal. I think that's that would probably make our deck. Yeah, I don't know. We already have the we already have the acidic slime. So we already have a way to do the land destruction loop. Ooh, well. And that's a that's a Sundering Titan. Sundering Titan is like the ultimate land destruction loop. Oh boy, do we take Sundering? How many ways do we have of getting cards in the graveyard is my main concern here. We have Una's Prowler and like that's about it. That's gonna be that's gonna be a concern. That is gonna be a concern. Uh, sneak attack. I don't know if we want to be. What do we have to really sneak attack in though? Pot is kind of cute. That would get things in the graveyard. We kind of. You know what? Maybe we can play. You know what? I think we can play Pod. I think we actually can. Hey. Okay. <clears throat> Marari's wake. I know we don't have any white mana, but I promise you it will be the it'll be the best card in our deck. <laughs> it'll be the best card, chat. It'll be the best card. <laughs> we gotta take it. Trust me. Trust me. Uh uh Besaju? Actually, New Braids seems pretty good too. Besaju is excellent in vintage cube though, because there's a lot of artifacts and enchantments. Yeah, Wayfinder does fill the grave, and I do love Wayfinder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ugh. Yeah, let's take Besaju. Well, take the we'll take Peatland. There's nothing else even in our colors, and this is technically mana fixing. Yes. Oh. Hmm. Windswept teeth. But we don't have anything to fetch with it. This is actually like kind of a sweet braids deck, because we have so many of these random tokens. I'm gonna I'm gonna take braids. Braids is fun. I, I think braids is I don't know if braids will be that good, but it seems it seems fun enough to play. What colors does this have? Mardu. So I guess that's another Yeah, that's another duel we can get from Wooded Foothills. Although oh we don't have enough red mana. Yeah, let's let's take the triome. Meog Masker seems good in the sideboard. Sn oh Oh, Ashen Rider. Oh, I don't know if we can get... I don't know if we can get it in the graveyard. Let's take Veraska. I mean, if we do our loops, we should be fine. We should be fine anyway. Get rid of this Vortex. Wow, Braids came back. Okay, okay. This deck's, this deck's sweet. This deck's sweet. I don't know if this deck... We'll see how good it ends up being. I do have a little worry that it's, like, slightly fairish, but... Hey, see you, Stone Rain. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. Have a amazing amazing night. And uh, reminder: stream little little early on Tuesday for spoiler purposes. All right, what are we cutting? So the plan of this deck: we're really a recurring nightmare deck. Our hope is to loop things for value, <laughs> to loop things for value with recurring nightmare. Like Grave Titan Kogla, so we want all of our ramp. I wish we had more ramp, honestly. I think that's one thing we're kind of lacking. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Is this deck just too fair? The Birthing Pod seems good. Pattern of Rebirth, we don't have any, like, I win card, but we have several good cards. This is, like, it's a very, it's a very fair cube deck. <clears throat> the Veraska might make it. The question is, what do we cut? We have to... We have to cut a chunk of cards here. We gotta cut like five. So we're not cutting our squirrel tribal stuff. <laughs> Cause that's too funny to too funny to pass up. For removal we have 
Well, I guess this goes in the land pile. So maybe we got to cut four. We'll see. So we have Thoughtseize, Hero's Downfall, Maelstrom Pulse, Veraska. We have a lot of removal. Shriek Maw, Acidic Slime. 12 lands? Yeah, 12 lands is good. <laughs> we'll be we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I think Revoker kind of counts as removal. We're not cutting mana door. We could cut some removal, honestly. Like, do we need that much removal? That might be too much. Recurring Nightmare is good. Reanimate is going to stay. Braids is spicy. Yogg is spicy. I guess maybe there's an argument on... Ah, oh, we're keeping Pod... Maybe we don't need Woe Strider. We might be able to get rid of Woe Strider. Oh, this is actually tough. We got to keep our curve functioning for... What about Pattern? Is Pattern even worth it? Like, we do have synergies for it, but we're getting, like, a squirrel or something. Yeah, I think that... I think that pattern rebirth is probably worth cutting. That custody lich didn't come back either. I'm kind of surprised, honestly, that it didn't come back. So we can get rid of that. I want to try the court of bounty. I don't know if the court of bounty is actually worth it, but I kind of want to try it. If we cut the ooze, I guess we have two two drops, two one drops. So we can probably cut woe strider. Actually, can we even cut Woe Strider? Maybe we cut the Hero's Downfall. Cut the Hero's Downfall. We have a million four drops. A million five drops. Court was too slow. I could definitely see it being too slow. It might just be correct to cut it, honestly. It doesn't really synergize with our deck. I like the Monarch. Being the Monarch is nice. Maybe it's something like this. Something like this with 16 lands and a and a mox. I mean, yeah, let's let's try it. Let's try it. I think that's I think that's fine. I don't know. What do you what do you think of this deck, chat? What do you think? Big Len! Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big subscription for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So the triome is to let our let our wooded foothills get black mana essentially. Like we didn't get a fetchable Golgari to a land, so we're kind of building our own with the blood crypt in the in the triome. So uh, kind of kind of trying to make it <laughs> make our own dual land. Yeah, Chatter's room would be sweet for the squirrel the game. But what if we wanna what if we wanna cycle, or what if we draw the blood crypt? It was, I actually think Prowler is kind of important to this deck. So our most powerful plan is going to be Recurring Nightmare, looping stuff from the graveyard. Having a way to get stuff into the graveyard is going to be, is going to be important, I think. It's very sad to have Recurring Nightmare and have it set up and not have a creature to start looping with. Because the most powerful thing we're going to do, I think, is... Like, get something in the graveyard and have a drain hermit and just keep looping those two creatures to make a bunch of tokens. Or do it with Grave Titan, or do it with Coglin, shoot down your board, or Acidic Slime to blow over your lands. But all of that requires having something in the graveyard to do the first sacrifice. Eh, I think I'm going to keep the Triome. I don't, I don't mind the Triome. Yeah, Woe Strider could be cuttable. We also have the Birthing Pod, so we got to keep in mind, like, <laughs> that? I think Woe Strider's pretty good with Pod. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see how this goes. This, to me, okay, this feels like a Legacy Cube deck. That's that's what I, that's how I feel about it. I think, it. I like it, and I think it's going to be really sweet, but I'm a little worried that the busted decks of Vintage Cube might just be too unfair for for what this deck's doing like our decks like oh 
Oh, it is just, it is very The Rock. It is like the epitome of a Golgari. A Golgari deck, like, kills some of your stuff and maybe ramp a little and, like, you know, maybe Thought sees you, but it's not, it's not gonna storm off. It's not gonna, you know, Telerian Academy into a million mana or do something, do something like that. So what do you think? What do you think? Actually... <laughs> We probably will never know because we're probably only going to do be able to do a game or two with uh with this deck, but we'll see. Yeah, I mean we got the soul ring, our soul, our legacy cube soul ring. <laughs> we will keep it <laughs> based on the strength of a uh, Joraga tree speaker, which is actually a good card if it lives. Opponent. Okay, off to a, a nice little unfair start there. Mox Ruby, nice whisper, sure. Well, thought sees, but we can't cast it yet. Or we'll run out the tree speaker. Pass the turn. Yeah, I wonder if it'll ever come back. I kind of wish. Do you think that it would have been okay at instant speed? I think that's what really kept it from seeing mm, a very much constructed play. Like having to do it at sorcery speed makes it pretty blowoutable. I wonder. I wonder if they could bring back a twist on it that was instant speed. If it worked like Figure of Destiny, I think it would be much, it would be much more powerful. Opponent grabbing a Triune. Mm -hmm. Well, play a forest. Level up the Tree Speaker. Boom! Hit you for one. We really could use some black mana, black mana for Thought Seize, or just any mana at this point. About it. If this tree speaker dies, our hopes and dreams die too. Yeah, I guess it would be pretty uh, much better in control decks. Maybe it would be too good in control decks. I think it was just too gamey or hard to fit, but it would definitely make it more playable. Yeah, it would definitely power it up. Because really, uh, none of those cards actually saw play, right? I'm trying to think of... I'm trying to think of the mechanic back uh, so long ago now. I guess it was also a pretty busted era of standard, but did any did any of the level up cards see like meaningful play back in back in their era? Who entomb discarded? Well, there's black mana. Okay, okay, okay. So Pony has a Dak Faden. How do we do this? Well, let's play a swamp. I think we swamp thought sees and uh, start squirrel tribling here with the Toski. Yeah, I guess Student of Warfare. That's probably the best one. That one saw some white aggro play. Okay, the red one that saw it became a dragon. Co co something dragon lord. Coglin? Coglin? Yeah, I guess that one saw my. Okay, so I guess some of the most aggressive ones did actually see play. What was the what was the mythic white one? Wow. Transcendent Master? Oh, jeez. Many scary Magic the Gathering cards. Um, Pono just went... Wow. I think our Pono has, like, <laughs> three cards in hand that are stronger than any card in our deck. Uh, actually, not Duretti. The other two, though. Uh, I guess we gotta take to Fairy. Take to Fairy and figure out well so if we take to fairy then we can shriek maw the omnath all right take to fairy run out toski yeah this isn't that bad if our opponent plays the omnath then we very fairly shriek maw it and then get in and start running cards uh pony yeah to fairy i never beat to fairy <laughs> whoever beat a a big to fairy opponent gonna keep looting would be nice to get rid of this deck just because our opponent is really churning through their deck at a frightening rate. And we saw the Entomb, so they obviously are trying to fill the graveyard. Like, you don't play Entomb unless you're reanimating stuff. I'd say that Level Up has just been completely phased out for much less clunky phys Figure of Destiny model. Wow, they pitched the Duretti. Okay. And, oh, that's pretty bad. Toxic Deluge. 
Wow, that is a blowout. Yeah, Storetti is just winning our opponent this game. Knight's Whisper, play a land. Oh, yeah. This deck Faden is just going off. Faithless suiting every turn. Too good, too good. Why is it heroic every turn? I thought it was a cool, versatile mechanic. We've seen, like, unkeyworded heroic a few times, right? Like, when it becomes targeted to do a thing... I would imagine it would come back at some point. Although, like, how much can you do with it? I guess that's the question. Is there is there much more they can actually do with that design space? Opponent. Relic of Progenitus. Worm Coil Engine runs on a Hex Drinker. And a Cohesive Portal. We actually really can't cast anything. This level's up for colorless. Oh boy. Wow, what a nightmare. Yeah, our deck is our deck's looking a little fair. Just a just a smidge. A smidge fair. <sighs> yeah, sure. Evoke a shriek ma, kill a hex drinker. <laughs> I feel like we're playing Lorwyn Limited against Vintage. <laughs> Yeah, Hex Drinker is like the the Modern Horizons level up. Opponent has drawn an extra hand compared to us at this point. But yeah, Hex Drinker is, Hex Drinker is pretty powerful. It's still, though, even that, that's like about as powerful as a level up card can get, I think. Like, that's pretty costed to be playable. It's a Modern Horizons card designed to be playable, and Hex Drinker doesn't really see play. Like, it's from a set of busted one drops ragavons dragon rage channelers etc 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 and it, it's the one that just doesn't doesn't actually doesn't actually do anything the opponent discarding a card we draw a land well play the land acidic slime Blow up the portal past the turn. Enclave, Cryptolo uh, <laughs> Enclave Cryptologist. Best against odds ever. Do we actually do en Enclave Cryptologist against odds? What do you even... How do we even do that? <laughs> it just turns into a merfolk looter. <sighs> oh, is x Stranger MH1? Maybe it was. All right. Yeah, I mean, there's... Sure. All right, well, that didn't go especially well. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I guess we run it back. Actually, Ooze is probably pretty good in this matchup. Let's bring in the Ooze. That was not even close. MTG Fox Mulder for the fifth month. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big subscription for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just brought a... 13.4 inch laptop open magic online and when it opened the display was is all wrong really interesting that's that's unfortunate the just uh is it a laptop problem or a moto problem uh well okay we will we will keep Tab land, go. Well, let's see if we can actually play a squirrel. Can, can a squirrel actually happen? Opponent. Opponent went aggro with the lands, that's for sure. Well, play the land. Thought sees our opponent. To fairy baleful strix. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm so tempted to take the Baleful Strix, but maybe we just have to take Teferi? Oh, it's so risky. Can we get far enough ahead? Maybe You know what? Can we risk it? If we can get this Braids down...
Yeah, we're going to take Baleful Strix. Play Jorga. And pass the turn. All right, we just got to kill our opponent before they can play Teferi. Easy. Easy. Yeah, it seems like Moto should be able to work on that laptop. I'm not sure. All right, opponent draws a Mox. The Teferi's coming quicker, potentially. We draw Grave Titan. We'll play a Mox. Level up Jorga. Play Augur of Autumn. Forest off the top. <sighs> okay. Well, pass the turn. Could use a black source. Black source would be sweet. We would we would accept that. Opponent gonna cycle. Hard question for all of chat and Seth. How much is your MTG card collection worth? Oh, that's a good question. For a long time, I think I had way more way more value on Moto than in paper, but now I have some commander decks and stuff, so that's I don't know. I'm sure oh, there's the deck fading again. I'm sure it's in the thousands although i don't know if it's like super high thousands opponent maybe like i don't know 10 i, I would guess maybe like 10 15 000. so opponent top deck deck fading steals our mox well we kill the deck fading Play a Arbor Elf. Play Besaju, I guess. And, I mean, I guess we level up? <laughs> There's no... Boy, duh, we never hit the second Black Swords, unfortunately. Lots of, lots of green mana, no black mana. I have zero. I have zero alpha alpha black lotuses. I don't have any really old cards. I mean, I had, I had a random like, what did I have? A random Ella beta demonic tutor that I got in a weird grab bag thing. But most of the cards I I have are not like reserve lists. It's more modern stuff. Have I tried Robo Water Cube? I haven't. I've I've heard of it, but I've never actually uh never actually played it. Hmm. Well, one, two, three, four, and five. Run out the deep forest hermit. I mean I guess we drew an answer to I guess we drew an answer to the Teferi, sort of, which is something. Level up as the turn. Come on, deck. Where's our black mana? Yeah, we're we are playing. This might be the literally the fairest vintage cube deck that I have ever ever played. <laughs> it actually goes against like all of my beliefs in vintage cube, which is you really need. I think you need to do something pretty busted, and this deck is. This deck's doing stuff that's like it's 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 trying. It's 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 doing things that are kinda neat-ish. Sort of. Opponent trying to make a brutal hex drinker. Levels up a bunch. Last cards to fairy. Levels up a bunch. Passes the turn. Squirrels start vanishing. Top cards a revoker. How in the world? Do we have this many creatures and we cannot and we cannot cast creatures with Augur Bottom? <laughs> this is so many things that I am questioning about this deck. <laughs> blow blow it up. Tap untap. Uh boom. Well we we reach max mode of Jorga Tree Speaker, that's something. Infinite green mana. Infinite green mana and nothing to do with it. About it. 
Yeah, I don't know about Clutch, but they, they're existing. We know the Teferi's still coming. Cohesive portal for our opponent. I mean, I guess our opponent's trying to avoid playing Teferi because they know it can get attacked. There's the Teferi. About it. Gonna draw a card with Teferi. All right. About it. Untaps a bunch of lands. Our squirrels keep vanishing. <sighs> so bad. Yeah, see, there was there was a meow. She probably wants she probably wants food. This is about her. She knows this is at eight o'clock. That's about when I get done streaming. It means get me give me my food, please. Uh, I have a coworker getting his old MTD cards from 93 and 94 being sent to him from his home. He said he might have a revised Black Lotus and some BB dual lands in there. Oh Lord, he can't wait to help him dig through it. Yeah, so much fun. Going through old collections like that is just always, always a blast. All right, well, I guess we gotta, I guess we send a bunch of Teferi. <sighs> hmm. Yes, yeah, so a Cynic Slime to blow up the portal would have been sweet, but... Alright, well, we go attacking. We kill the Teferi. And I guess we just pass? I guess we could revoke the... Thran Dynabo? Is that even worth it? Yeah, I guess it probably is. Alright, well, revoke the Thran Dynamo. Yeah, I think it's it's better since we can kill the Teferi. I think it's better to kill it and then we can revoke something else. Plus... Revoker is nice it is uh as it is to be able to stop something. Uh also dies to everything. Uh boon it. You'd have it canopy instead. I feel like our opponent's already just drawing infinite cards. What's what's one more? <laughs> They're already drawing them all. What's them all plus one? Uh boon it. Draws an extra card. I mean, we got the Acidic Slime on the top of our deck, which is something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Revoker can't hit lands as well. That's uh, also a good point. <laughs> Abonant. Yeah, Pithy Needle can hit lands, but it doesn't stop mana abilities. Revoker can stop mana abilities, but it uh, it cannot hit lands. Abonant. Veraska. Yes, one black sword thing is just not doing it. <laughs> not doing it for our poor old deck. Yeah, that's easy. Easy to get confused. All right, opponent. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know, it is pretty rare to fully level up a Jorga Tree Speaker. That is the achievement of uh, of this deck, I guess. Opponent blows up the Revoker. Well, I guess they didn't like us naming Thrandine about and Solemn Simulacrum. Okay. Huh. We could use one of those. Opponent gets a swamp and passes. All right, our squirrel vanishes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Acidic slime. Blow up the Thran, <sighs> Thran Dynamo. I don't even think it matters. I think I, I think I've given up on this game. In all honesty, there's just, <laughs> there's just really uh, our opponent's having all the fun, and our deck is just not, not functioning. <laughs> it is not functioning. About it. 
Carnage. Come on, opponent. Misclick. I think our one out is our opponent misclicks and accidentally rests their own board with cohesive portal. I think that's I think that's only shot. Yeah, if we had drawn a second black source, this game would look a lot different. As it is, oh, we're so incredibly far behind. Our opponent's just drawn so many more cards than us, and we just... Uh, and you know what's going to happen is we've drawn four lands, so that means, like, half of our cards are lands, so we're going to end up just drawing infinite lands in a row here. Hopefully it's not a forest. I don't think we can take another forest. I think Braids just straight up would have won us this game had we hit our uh, another Black Source. Like, I think Braids was was essentially just a, a more or less a guaranteed win when we thought seized our opponent. We thought seized our opponent on turn two, left them with Lance and Teferi. If we had drawn a Black Source, our opponent would have just been locked out of locked out of the game. Wow. Um. Yeah, all right. I mean, so sometimes you play magic, sometimes you don't. Woo! Yeah, that would have been that would have been a that would have been the win. Well, all right. I gotta say, I think this one's just a smidge smidge on the fair side, unfortunately. So, well, maybe maybe next time we'll get to do a a more unfair reanimator deck. This one, wow, as fair as fair could be. So. I mean, Vintage Cube super fun though. We we got to force some storm. We got to see the storm deck go off. We got to see just an incredibly way too fair Golgari deck that that not only did that but also ran horribly. But I think that brings us to the end of our stream for tonight. So reminders on the way out the door. Replay YouTube. That's where you can find all the old streams, including this one in the future. Normal YouTube. Got a sweet bunch of brew tomorrow. If you missed yesterday's against the odds, definitely check that out. It was a pretty sweet modern deck. And one more reminder that our sponsor today is Card Kingdom. And if you need some magical cards, you can get them over at cardkingdom.com slash Goldfish. And most importantly, thank you to all of you. Y'all are amazing and awesome and spectacular. And I love y'all. And I hope you have an amazing night and a great weekend. And we will be back on Tuesday, a little earlier than normal, to have some more fun. So until then, everyone, I love y'all. Have a good weekend. And I will talk to you soon.